Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein I'm just heading back to Corsal. Uh, with a whole lot of blue belt to finish the job. A Dendal, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We'll be there in, I think, about seven minutes. Once we hit max speed, we'll see a more accurate uh, estimate, of course. I haven't actually seen it, uh, how much time is left the moment we hit max speed till now. Yeah, it's about... It's about 7 minutes if you take the acceleration into account, I think. 7am here, ready for a Monday working from home. Nice, nice. Muted? Oh, whoops, my bad. Thank you for pointing it out. Razor K, Vinmars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, this is why we're building this. Except for... This will be on the other side. Oh, god damn it, LTN. I haven't even... Oh, uh, there must be a train... With that schedule now. Actually, now there's two of them. I think it's going to bring 100k. Um. Well. I guess we'll just... Have to deal with that. don't know where those signals came from. And a little bit of... And connect the other bits of pipe. And it's actually as simple as... Oh, wait, no. I was going to say it's as simple as that this time. That's not quite right. There we go. Oh, God damn it! it's going to put the uranium in the train. There's actually no room. There's also no room for the bots to get back in, but they'll find their way back. No path? Oh. God damn it. Where's the train? Come back. And park yourself here for the moment. Um, I 
guess this needs to go... through here. Oh, the power poles in the way. Actually, don't go that way. Alright, so two way, two way, two way, one way, one way. Seems good. And then park over here for a sec, but not long enough for the loaders to put anything into the train. And it should all be working now. How is there already a train here? What? Wait, what? Oh no. Um. Um, well, we know this is working. Yeah, there was no wire connection here, so it was reporting that we don't have any uranium, uh, effectively. And therefore setting the provide threshold to one. Or the provide stack threshold to one, rather. So all of these trains came for just one stack of uranium. Efficiency itself. I guess I could tell them wait for 8k. That's gonna take a little while. I'll just double check. Uh, how much can they support? It's more than 8k. Or it's not 8k, it's 50 times 50 times 2. 5,000. I knew it would be 10,000 or half of that without calculating it. I got Factorio, should I be scared or not? No, it's, uh, it's it'll be fine. I mean, you can, with Factorio, you can learn a very complex system, one simple piece at a time. It's quite good. The curve is, the, the learning curve is quite good that way. Is there also a train waiting back here? No, I think we're good. Fantastic. There's probably more uranium over here. Mm. Why don't I just get you to go to the nearest one? Oh, has that got the same name? Oh, that works. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, and we're actually at our destination. It's really good for choose your own difficulty, yeah, and in multiple dimensions. You can you can make it easy or difficult in a number of ways simultaneously. Uh, I still didn't get rid of these little bits of crap in my inventory. Not that it matters this time, but I should pay more attention to that. Um, anyway, down to the planet we go, and visit our 13, well, maybe not visit every single one of them, but I want to make sure we finish all of these, uh, stations. I could build the ship first, but I decided, because we built some of these a bit imbalanced because we were missing a bit of um, blue belt. Oh, you know what? Why don't I do this? Since I'm physically here, we'll rebalance them with uh, even distribution. As soon as we confirm that the belts are all built. Coffee ready. Hello, T Hacks and Chat. Hello, hello. Not Steel Mage. If we take too long to build our ship, this will all be saturated anyway. But. 
the more drills we have, the longer these individually, the slower they are individually, the longer they'll take to fill up. And there's our stuff. Fantastic. Did this one just start working or what? Hmm. Oh, there was more in here. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five that we've done. That looks balanced. That looks balanced. That looks balanced. That looks balanced. And that looks balanced. Okay, and then we've got how about I do these four so I don't miss anything? This one should already be balanced, actually. Yeah. Because we built it right. This one... Is, it, is also already balanced. I thought one of them said 1.3k for a second, but that's just my tired eyes playing tricks on me. Uh, this one obviously needs a rebalance. And we'll make sure all the stuff is getting in as well first. Uh, and then this one's next. Looks like it's already working. 1.7k each. Fantastic. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Cool, cool, cool. Hurry up, autosave. Should I trim the surface? It's already, like, even if I trim it, we're going to have almost the entire planet revealed. And it's a small planet. 2.2k, that's already working. Okay, that's already working. 2k, that's already working. So most of these already have a train load. Um, I'll just double check. 50 stacks times 20 times... Well, one cargo wagon is this. 1,000. Huh. Oh, yeah, so we've actually got... Two train loads. Wait, this shouldn't be anything greater than zero. What? It should be set to... Oh, no. Okay. Cargo wagons, 50 stacks. Stack size, 20. Four cargo wagons is 4,000. Does anyone know if it makes the slightest difference, like even on the tiniest scale to UPS, if we have this generalized versus if we look specifically for Core Fragment Immersite Cave. I think I need to update those blueprints now that I th think about it. Um, oops, didn't mean to jetpack. Oh, that was weird. Did I just disappear? Uh, anyway, let's grab those blueprints I made last time. Um, front left. Uh, back left. Front right. And back right. Um, and I said 4,000, didn't I? 4,000 is one train load. Choo choo, budgie bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, and you could set it so that it's like an arithmetic combinator 
uh, divided by 4,000 output L for train limit higher than 1. But considering how slow core fragments are going to be, it's really not necessary. Um, so we'll keep it simple. Alright. Oh, I can't just select new contents because we've got... Alright, front right. Which one's front right? Because we've got bulk rail loaders, it does weird things. If we copy paste or cut and paste and select new contents and stuff. Or fragment loader. Train stop names, yes. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that's front right. Let's just delete the other three. Uh, front right is done. Back right. Is done. Uh, back left. And front left. Fantastic. Alright, so next time we do that we won't have to remember to change all of these. So we've got 12 more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twelve. I can't actually remember which one I'm standing next to. This is it. Okay, so they should all be done now. Let's search for... Decider Combinator. On this surface. Oh, I have to fiz I actually have to click on them. And it makes the factory search go away. No. Oh well. We can at least search them, uh, check them all in order, and definitely not lose track this way. What's the shortcut here? Shift, Shift F. Shift F. I keep going, I, I keep wanting to go Control F. Cool, cool. That kale. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so now it's time for trains. And with any luck, we'll actually be able to get a spaceship going before all of this fills up. Uh, I kind of doubt it, though. Oh, I need to... Oh, okay. I, th I should probably do the signaling first, even though... I don't think it's going to matter until we have a spaceship. You know what, let's do the trains. Um, what's the station called? Refuel... Drop-off. Cool. Sticking with the plain text naming convention for these outposts. Keep them generic. Do we not have... 
Did I not bring batteries? Really? No. I can't believe I didn't bring power packs. How long did we spend trying to think of everything? Bravna. Oh yes, I noticed you saying how you wished you could go back in the blueprint book. For me, I used my mouse button to go back like in the browser. Uh... You'd have that bound to maybe alt left for going back. So if I go like mouse 4 and mouse 5... No, that's weapon switch. Alt left, alt right. No. Yeah, that's... Uh, none of the browser shortcuts that I would use for that are working. Good try. I'm gonna have to go back for s freaking space train power packs. I can at least build the trains while I'm here. Um... I did bring the trains, right? Yes. Yes, I did. How much room do I actually need here? Um, I know I calculated these. It's five stacks already. Okay, let me just put some of... Well, I was going to say put some of this in here, but we're going to end up with a mess where I don't know what's in here. Um, I think this chest, if we're going to have some random stuff, is probably the best place for it. Okay, give me all the train things. And we probably don't need this many, or well, maybe I did calculate it. Anyway, let's go downstairs, because there'll just be a bit more room to do it here. Um, and I need... One... Two... Three... Four... And one... Pardon me. And let's just quickly blueprint, copy that. Alright, so our schedule is... Um... Core Soul down, go to, what's it called, depot, even though it's not really depot, I guess stacker would be the right term, should we call it stacker, is this actually a stacker, I don't, I don't know, I don't usually do my trains that way, it's definitely not a depot, I, I think it's a stacker. That's the purpose of it. Lay down? Who knows? Uh, and then the next station is called uh, Core Fragment Pickup. Uh, we don't need a wait condition on the stacker station. If the signals say they can go straight through, they can go straight through. Wait for full ca uh, cargo at pickup. Go up the elevator. What? What? Why, why are neither of these working? I can... What? Did you all just see that? I tried to add this and then it didn't work and then I went down and then up and it worked. Okay. I wonder if that explains why 
That probably does explain why I've found myself unable to add stops on this side under certain conditions. Okay. So then we go up the elevator, uh, and then we go to, I think the stop is called Refuel. Refuel and drop off. Doesn't want to. Uh, doesn't want to add the drop off station. But I can add stations that are on surfaces it can't re. Okay, why? Why are you like this? Wait for inactivity at refuel. Wait for empty at drop off. I love the no condition train stops. Um, yes. They're just a you must drive here. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right, so down the elevator, go to the stacker, pick up core fragments, go up the elevator, refuel, and go to drop off, and then go down the elevator. Fantastic. Can I actually... Oh, I can do it that way. Oh, cool, cool. That kind of makes it easier. Please read my prior two messages. I love the no condition. I did... What that? They're just a you must... Oh, Fraser. The text color was the same. Also, why three train stops? Surely just on the right and rely on the signals uh, like normal. Uh, you're probably right about that, actually. No. No, I think... Um, the whole point of this station is to have a stop that the, the train can definitely pass to as it comes down the elevator, so that it doesn't do the jolty thing. Um, so it has to be able to come here, but then we want... Wait, if it comes to the nearest... If the first... If the first one comes to the nearest one... It's gonna be... It's gonna be satisfied sitting here until... One of these are full, right? So then it's not actually gonna... I could tell it to go to this stop three times, otherwise I would have to reshape the whole thing. We can do that. Stacker, stacker, stacker. Look at that, I was able to add it, but not twice? What? That's so weird. I can't even figure out figure out a reason for that trains will always path to the closest segment unless the station is disabled um what i'm worried about is We could try it both ways. Uh, we'll do we'll do that experiment when we've got these things actually running. Can't really do that right now. Okay. Five of those. Five of those. Five of those. Oh, I wasn't able to carry all the engines, was I? I think they're in here. Right. 
so this one's done. Two locomotive, three locomotive, four locomotive, uh, five locomotive, and six locomotive. This weighs less materials, make all three parallel instead of in series. Um, I, I did it this way specifically because I didn't feel like making them parallel. It's more streamlined, quite literally. Uh, but yeah, I need to come back here with charged power packs. Unfortunate. Should I make another trip and come back here, or should I just wait till the ship comes? Oh, the dispatching system won't send a ship unless there's core fragments here. So, yeah, let's make that trip. Pagan orbit. And while we're traveling, let's get this baby built. Uh, where was it? This one. This is going to be our first, uh, first spaceship berth for the new ships. First of all, we'll send the scaffolding train. Wait for inactivity. And then construction train will follow. And here comes our train now. Will the solar panels you put in the locomotives chain uh, charge the batteries? No, no. The batteries are like uh, uranium fuel cells or something. What? Don't you dare leave without... Uh, I, I hate the way the bots do this. Oh, wait, no, it's actually placed all of the... Oh, this is way more space platform pl uh, plating than we're used to placing. I thought it was just doing the thing where if there's lots of tiles that need to be placed, um, the orders get sent in waves. And... Uh, sometimes, depending on how many tiles, it can be quite a long time before they actually do that. Am I, am I mistaken on fuel type? Uh, the fuel type is called Space Train Power Pack. It is a rechargeable battery, but it just doesn't work quite like that. So the only way to recharge them, when you first build them, they are discharged. Then you have to throw them in one of these. A battery pack charging station. They come out 99% of the time as a charged power pack and 1% of the time destroyed, which can be refurbished pretty cheaply, but obviously you have to do the logistics for that. Um, oh, that's manufacturing. Uh, it's actually not that cheap. I mean, it's relatively cheap, obviously. Half the lithium sulfur batteries, no regular batteries. And a little bit of sulfuric acid, no more steel. Um, but yeah, they go into the train, they get consumed like fuel, they come out like, uh, just like this will spit out a used up uranium fuel cell, the train will always spit out used up uh, discharged space train power packs and then they have to go back to the charges 
cheaper than making a new one? Yeah, by far. The wall they're in. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, where's our build? Don't tell me the... Excuse me, don't tell me the construction train came back. Twice, I mean. Doesn't look like it. Can we actually get the scaffolding done? What? Where are your bots? Oh, why are you like this? How about... How about you park yourself over here? For, for like a minute. Two minutes. Wait till the bots catch up. Now we have to make even more trips, or wait even longer, to get this done. That's weird. Why is the train not... Oh, and S equals zero? What are we trying to... We don't have enough plating. Why don't we have enough plating? Probably because we're out of girders. We're always out of girders these days. Well, I'm two minutes out. I can give that a shove manually, I guess. Did we get our butts back? Just a couple more to go. Please go place what you are carrying. You know what, just time passed should be fine. How's spaceship floor production going? Same problem. Well, actually, slightly different problem. Um, we don't have... Beryllium plate? It's just not high enough a priority for beryllium plate to get here. So we don't have aeroframe bulkhead. So we can't make spaceship floor. Um, we do at least have cargo rocket sections. So that's good. That was something that we could no longer take for granted for a little while there. Let's check that all of our core fragments have been moving. I want to see eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the last hour. Fantastic. Uh, and ingots, I think there should be six. Uh oh. Oh, ingot. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so some of them are some are faster than others, obviously. But what the? Why did? Why did going to another surface reset my production thing? Uh, but yeah, we are. All six of our ingots are still being produced, so we've got nothing too severe going on. We're just we're just a bit slow until I can get a couple more outposts going. Um, but yeah, there should be heavy girders, almost a train load. Or actually, there is a little bit more than a train load right there. Let's make some room in the inventory. Guess it would be fine if the bots take this. Um, I don't really want to have to turn personal logistics back on at the moment.
That'll do for now. I believe it's one girder, one floor. We really shouldn't be making the space platform plating at this point, I suppose. But I don't want to have to, like, redo things like that. I want the final build spaceship docks to look nice. How many are we missing? Uh, tile ghosts. It's only 227. We might even have that much in the construction train. Not quite. It's all going over here. Oh, it just emptied itself. There we go. You know, instead of the inactivity, I could set it to wait for a specific amount. Because because we're not changing what we put in here all the time. Um, I could set it to wait for precisely this stuff. Before leaving the station. And then we'd be able to see here exactly how much it's got. Um, 800 space platform plating. We are a quarter of the way there. Which means we probably almost have enough. It's actually just at the point where I'm not sure. Or I could just Add both of those conditions. No, no, that's fine. Uh, 9,000 scaffold. Uh, Mr. Crispy Critter, thank you for the follow. Nice name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 2,000 space rail, 200 bots. Item count. Oh, come on. Item count. Uh, space rail, bots, solar, and charging stations. Why charging stations? I guess I was getting it to help build the depots or something? Hmm. Whatever the case. Um, rail, bots, solar panel, charging station. Space, rail, construction bot, solar panel. I should really upgrade these. Charging station. Um, and that one's 40. Eighty, two hundred. And two thousand. And now, as if it was an LTN stop, we can see how full we are. Fantastic. I know that's more than enough for our current purposes. So go forth and build. Um... And that just leaves spaceship floor. I've got almost 200, but we actually need about... Let's see. Uh, where did I put it? 418. 
for one of our ships. That's not too bad. So I need 223, which means four times that. I need 892 uh, of these babies, which means I need not double that because prod modules, but let's just pretend I need 600, 1600 beryllium plate, which we can certainly pick up. Alright, let's borrow the construction train to use as our taxi. Actually, I should just send it down here. Oh, it's still getting loaded with stuff? Um, it might be missing something that comes after the plating, but I'll worry about that later. Wait for inactivity. And I'll jump out. near the elevator, and definitely won't die. Cool. Let me just have a quick look here. Oh, that's nice. Wait, why is there scaffolding here? No, bad. And here. Uh, yucky. I need to update the blueprint. <laughs> Even though this is never going to be seen, it kind of bothers me. Okay, and before you leave... Build. Alright, we'll see what it's missing later, other than the 2x2 two two chests. Uh, what was I coming for? I need 1600 beryllium plate, 8 stacks. It's actually only eight stacks. In order to get the prerequisite that we're looking for for our spaceship floor. Bare scaffolding in this day and age, my word. <laughs> uh, Cover your ankles, I can see your scaffolding. For some reason I thought we had purple belt here, probably all this purple that's on the screen. I was actually kind of, in some weird way, pleasantly surprised how easily it was to set up the automation for this. Just because I have the auto crafter, that's the reason, and we don't need another fluid or something. But, um, it's really the resource bottleneck, or bottlenecks, actually, are the reason I don't spam superior transport belt yet. There is a belt mod that I use that sort of inverts the colors of belts to make it more clear what color they are. Fair enough. I love mods. And good mod support. 10 out of 10. So, I think I said we need... There's no prod modding uh, making spaceship floor. I'm quite sure of that. Because we have to make it in space. Wait, really? We don't have to make it in space. But surely we can't prod it, right? We can't prod it. Okay, cool. I haven't been wasting it. Um, but yeah, we need exactly four times the amount of spaceship floor we need. Um, so we're halfway there. And we're already... We've already almost gone through all of that barrel that I brought. 
That was faster than expected. I feel like it's totally unnecessary, but I kind of feel like changing all of these to superior inserters. Alright, we're at like 650, we need 800 or so. I put links to that mod and the dependency for it in your Discord, nice, thank you. High speed, Petrie Cottontail, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Almost there. Stay on target. How's our build? Uh, remember when I took out signal transmitters and receivers? Pepperidge Farms remembers. Did I have them here? Yeah, is this full? Kinda. Should I put them in another... I'm still waiting on plating. You know what? I'm just going to stop putting plating in the construction train for now. It's not really necessary since we've got the, um, the scaffolding train. Um, so that's loaded everything. Yeah, we'd, we definitely have more room over here. Hi, Speed. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Um, how was your stream today? What? Don't shout out signal. Hi, Speed. There we go. Wait, is my... Oh, yeah, playing Factorio. There we go. Fantastic. What'd you get up to? Uh, so this stacks to 20, not that we'd ever need that many in one trip, and this stacks to 10 for some reason. I mean, it is bigger, but it's kind of weird that this is 20 and this is 10. It's also really weird that we don't have any signal... Oh, they're in here. I see, I see how that works. Um... For the millionth time, I wish we could transfer things between buffer chests or something. Let's grab a active provider uh, filter inserter. Do we have one of those lying around? I don't think so. I'm really looking forward to when I've got all my inserters upgraded everywhere and I can just just use the superiors. Signal and signal. There we go. Killed 99% of the biters in South America. Secured the Panama Canal. <laughs> Indeed. How big is that um, map? Like, I know it's big. How, how does it compare to like a 9,000 radius planet, for instance. Also, have I been... Oh, I haven't viewed this surface yet. I thought there was a big planet that we were scanning. Well, this is a relative... It's a moderate-sized planet. This is 5,000 radius, and we're almost done scanning it. Lol at 9k radius, Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wasn't this the planet with the, um... Oh, I guess not. I think it was Stormhurst. No? Didn't one of the planets that we're going to land on soon have the Verbulator? The big spider? I know that a scale one world of 
the Earth is about a hundred million tiles, about the size of a 10k SPM megabase, but mostly water, indeed. All right. Um, we also need some requester strong boxes, which we aren't producing as a matter of course. Uh, Weirdly enough, we're doing the storehouses, but not the strong boxes yet. Requester strong box. Stack size is 40. And we'll need those on our construction train. And I'll just go deliver the superior inserters myself. How much is this? 500? We need like 800 or 900, right? Let's just take them all. There we go. Thanks for hosting my viewers. No worries. Burned through 5k nuke arty shells so far. Good grief. I'm off to sleep. Stayed up a bit late to clear things. Fair enough. I am not used to this jetpack speed and I just flew way past the elevator. Well, checking chat. Let's go. Alright, so... Let's drop off our fancy inserters and whatever else we happen to be carrying that works here. That just leaves an electric boiler. I don't think I've got one in the construction train, actually. Do we have one lying around? We do. We might even have them automated. Um, boiler. Just one. For now. Did that not get added to... Oh, it did. That was just so quick I didn't even see it. Um, construction train go burr. Actually, I didn't check to see if... I didn't check to see if it was carrying the requester strong boxes, which would actually be the last thing that we need to uh, to get this built. I also need to do central dispatch. And I was actually considering putting it around the space elevator. I did do a block that fits neatly in a rail block. I, um, why do I have this here still? I wonder what the difference is. So it's like 16 transmitters, 17, plus these two. I could, I might have to reshape it a little bit to fit it behind the space elevator. But I think I'd rather have more name and bases up here. The more I look at it. Um, where do I actually want to put central dispatch? I mean, it could be anywhere. One, two, three, four, five. Did I not make all of these yet? I didn't. This is a little bit approximate, but these are going to go here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Holmanite, Iridite, Vitamelange. Holmanite, Iridite, and a Vit. What? Why are you like this? Why does it do this sometimes? 
It's not the zoom in or out thing this time. I, I just can't place it. Do I have to, like, explore there? Is that what this is? I think it is. I think that's the reason. Uh, Holmanite, Iridite, and Vitamalange. Minimap is exploring, indeed, outside of radar, yes. Um, so I could put the central brain, like, down here, maybe, or I could put it next to the mall. I kind of want to, like, eventually move the mall, maybe. Let's be honest, that may never happen. The mall in the middle would be nice, though. There's going to be no traffic around this block, and I actually kind of like that um, for this central area. One less block that's going to cause traffic. So let's put it here. How much is this? Uh, 1.1k or so. And we've got less than... Probably less than 600. And let me guess, we're out of girders? We're not yet out of girders. We have 4.5k. Fantastic. How reliable is Core Fragment Mining? Uh, very reliable. It's the only one that doesn't run out. I find it doesn't nearly spit out enough ore for what my base needs, even on several planets. More planets, more miners. And then you don't have to keep refreshing them. Uh, we also need a clamp, which I thought I was carrying. But I guess I threw it back into the spaceship. I also need to change all the signals and stuff. Alright, well first of all we're going to need some spaceship floor. Let's make that happen. I need to slightly more than double the amount of spaceship floor I'm already carrying. Uh, Autocraft is not going to get around to spaceship floor anytime soon. So let's do a temporary one. Oh, we're trying to make 2k. I think I'll bump that down a bit for now. 418 is enough for... Where's the uh, beacon? Up here. 418 is enough for our standard spaceship for now. Spaceship floor. There we go. Where are my speed modules? Don't need these. Looks like the bots can keep up. Okay. And how much... 4, 418. I've got just under two, just over 200. So this will take... Oof, 27 per minute. But I need more than that. That's seven and a half minutes before I can finish the spaceship. That's not what I want to hear. Why don't I go for a little trip, um, 
to deliver the uh, power packs. Should have some here I can steal. That's quite a lot, actually. That'll get the and that'll get this thing started. No, don't steal them back. No. No. I was about to do shift C, but that might be a mistake. Oh, and before I leave, let's take exactly one clamp. Um, and bring it back this way. Should probably add clamps to the construction train, but that's one whole extra stack for something that we're not building very often. Maybe I should add it to the scaffolding train. It's got lots of spare spaces. We could do occasional things like uh, clamps and boilers in the scaffolding train. I haven't had my logistics turned on for a while, so I don't have the 50 Logibots that I want to drop in here. You'll be needing clamps more as you build out these core fragment sections though. Yeah, but I'll need like 16 um, for the entire playthrough for those stations. Plus one for each uh, spaceship. But I think I want to build a block specifically for building spaceships in a bit. Um, Alright, Logibots. I need 50. Do we... I think I automated them? I did. Um, Logibot. Fantastic. And I should be carrying 50 just to have some spares. Easier to do it manually? Yeah, it's always, uh, it's always worth thinking about. Sometimes it is actually easier to do something manually, just because of the amount of infrastructure, or like the bandwidth, you know, the space in a construction train, for example, um, that we'd have to take up just to fully automate it. Alright, so there's our logic parts. 50 should be more than enough to keep up with this block. And now we're going to fill this up to like 80%, uh, which is automatically going to equalize with the, the water reserves for the nuclear ships. What's being delivered here? Oh, I thought it was ice. That's fine. Wait a sec. Oh, no. No, 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 that's right. I, I thought I made a mistake by not measuring what's in the active provider chests, but we are measuring them because we're reading logistic network contents. It's probably because the bots were moving the cables, they recorded some negative numbers. Um, which I wish you could turn off, because it makes it look like to LTN that there's 112 cables missing here, or however, however much it was. Um, but yeah, while we are making spaceship floors, let's go get the battery packs delivered to get the trains started on Mosul, I think it was. Uh, Corsol. I knew it was something Sol. Bot kidnapped successful. And we'll be there in seven minutes. Feels like I'm hours late on that comment. Turn off logistic requests, they ignore your trash slots. 
Uh, no, but if they're busy, they'll... they won't prioritize your, your trash slots. I wish they would ignore the trash slots if I turn off personal and auto trash, because then I can just use this as extra inventory without them stealing it. Oh, I forgot to put this away as well. It's fine. Six hours until our CME at Nalvis. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I rescued my ships that ran out of water. How would I save my ships with no ion stream? Set up a platform, unbarrel ion stream, and feed that into the tanks. Yeah, you have to, like... You have to stop the ship so that you can build outside of it. So that you can... Uh, do the equivalent of unbarreling to put the fuel in. It's fun. Alright, what can I do while we're in transit? And is this still working? Yes, it is. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I should redesign the short train, uh, anything in logistic network, provide a station to work like this one. I just need enough neck to research my way into antimatter reactors slash drives and I'm golden, indeed. That is maybe one of the biggest, well, definitely one of the biggest milestones in the game. Never enough purple stuff. Which is surprising, considering this is saturated. Very surprising, actually. Huh. Well, this, this has nothing, so... Yeah, there's not enough uh, fluid. Trying to focus towards space elevators to make it so I can finally get trains and such in orbit. Save spaghetti. Yeah, they make it so much neater. Meloxel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Case in point. Um, this is what our outposts are going to look like from now on. Nothing on the planet side except for some rail and some drills that go to and fro the space elevator. That's it. And here's our planet orbit. Delivery, uh, not delivery cannons. Anti-media cannons, um, train stops, some, uh, quite a bit of circuitry actually, <laughs> uh, some sh shenanigans to make sure the items get to where they're going because we have to take from buffer chests initially. We've actually got, uh, two robot networks just so that A, we can have more bots without penalty, and B, we can keep the bots from crossing the spaceship. Um, so they'll do things a lot faster this way. Circuitry to essentially say, hey, I'm full, come pick me up. Basically, yeah. Some logic <laughs> covers that. What's the location here? Uh, moon 684 is the automation signal. And even when we do get Foenestra, we won't be coming via Foenestra. Moon Orbit 684. Let me just double check that. Oh, no, it's Moon Orbit 685. Moon Orbit 685. Um, and we'll be loading 
Uh, Emesite Cave Core Fragments. Emesite Cave Core Fragments. Whoops. Emesite Cave Core Fragments. Emesite Cave Core Fragments. And so on. We're able to search for a signal, right? That is so cool. Cryonite core fragment. No? Does it have to actually be transmitting? Well, it was worth a try. Um, and this here... This needs to be home base, doesn't it? No, this is our location. So, moon orbit 685. This is to report back to home base that outpost 0, the address is moon orbit 685, and this is what we're asking for, and we're subtracting the amount that we've actually got. Uh, once again, Emosite core fragment. Emosite core fragment. Emosite core fragment. This is the only trouble. I, I I worked pretty hard to keep the combinator count down, but um, making it generic as well would have been exceedingly difficult. This is just to tell us what channel this is supposed to be on. Um, I think I need a train stop. Just to get that character. Time character. So we can put it in here. So we're going to have a timer that transmits on this channel so that we can synchronize all of these. When T Hack starts two hours later? What? I found it bad on the other side of daylight savings. Oh no. Tumbling satellite? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How it goes? Not too bad. I know insomnia is at its worst when I give up on trying to sleep and T-Hex has been live for over an hour already. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, what's this one? Uh, central dispatch. Oh, didn't we call it, like, air traffic control or space space traffic control? I think I had the the way I wanted to label it. Where was I putting... Here it is. Do we have enough scaffolding now? Probably. I think we need to make two trips. I hate that I can't see which block there is. The one just above this depot. Wait for inactivity, and then when you're done, come back and do it again. And that should get finished with no further action. Name and base, Bydrith, okie dokie. Bydrith, or Bidrith. Perfect. Just mark that off the list. Fantastic. He called it space traffic control. Yeah, I was just trying to see... I think I had some symbols that I wanted included. Oh wait, the blueprint itself doesn't have the... Uh, the channel set, right? Your streams go from a 10pm start to midnight start, local time, Seattle? I see. That's a bit a bit surprising to me. I know there's been some like uh, daylight savings time shifts and stuff since I since I streamed Factorio, but like 
I used to start significantly earlier. And basically the incentive was to start a little bit later, a little bit later with the viewers, which uh, I think are based on when I'm streaming, a decent chunk of them are from the US. I did, never actually checked those stats though, properly. That's why you had the requested chest near the satellite. Wait, what? Nothing is going to be in the blueprint? What? Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let me just take these and put them where they belong. Fantastic. What, what, what? I think that's all of them. And we'll need to wait a little while to get a stockpile of charged packs. Okay. The names for the set don't carry over from the blueprint, so you used the requested chests to t I thought you... didn't I use the com constant combinators? Like this? But yeah, I typed out, like, central dispatch, but I think I ended up deciding I wanted some symbols in this or something. Uh, I can just make it up as we go. Um, let's see. Something like... Wasn't there another... Oh, this thing, the arrows cross? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard to see that one, though. Do we have a better symbol for, like, sending things to different places? Maybe? How about spaceship launch? Yeah, I kind of like that. I used the ship with arrow, which you just used, indeed. Alright, so this is... I think I'll put some text here as well. Uh, central clock. I kind of want to copy this symbol over here. And this is central dispatch. Um, we've set up our address. We've set, I hope, all of the core fragment um, I hope we've changed all the core fragment symbols from Ryanite to the correct one for this place. Everything else stays the same. I did... Oh, except for this. Uh... Let's see. Core fragment. So I was going to make it 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So Immersite core fragment will be clamp ID 13. Um, therefore... When anchor to target left clamp equals 13. Oh, I think I need to change that here as well. Moon orbit 685. Plus 12. So the ship always has a constant combinator saying anchor to target left clamp 1. Uh, and then we add 12 to get 13. Uh, but this is one as well, because we're using that to time it when the ship first arrives. Oh, it's actually... 
Yeah, this happens one tick after we reset the memory cell because of this. So 1 plus 12 equals 13. Except we're adding 13. Yeah, no, that's right, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're adding 12. So clamp ID will be 13. But we're adding 12 to the memory cell. Right? 12, 11, 1. And that means... This will be clamp ID 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 1. Fantastic. Actually, I think that's what I had this here for. There we go. Will the transport ship deal with bad train batteries? Yes, it will. Because the transport ships are going to be using buffer chests with set requests, they can take stuff to and fro along with the main cargo. Alright, how many charged batteries do we... Um, what? Shouldn't they be in here? There's no way we haven't charged any batteries yet. Oh. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So we've got 24 so far. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, while that is charging, uh, let's look at this build again. Construction train should be able to get that done. And what's a good symbol? I think I'll probably use the same one. If I had a brain symbol, especially like a cyber brain, I would absolutely use that. But I think the remote view thing will be close enough. Alright, so this is going to be set to central clock. Why are we not building combinators? Uh, that's concerning. We'll get back to that. Uh, this one is... I think it's central dispatch? It's kind of hard to tell without being able to click on the constant combinator. Uh, this is ready ships. Central dispatch. Uh, and then this one, for example, transmits to Crinite. So let's see. This one's going to be Poor Fragment Immersite Cave Dispatch. And that's what this is set to. And then, what's this one? Ready ships and dispatch central. Ready ships. I want, I definitely want that to have like a spaceship symbol. Anything else? Probably not. Maybe a, like a green signal.
Oh god damn it, I didn't copy that. Ready ships, there we go. And back to the brain. Uh, this should be set to ready ships. Just noticed the WTF icon, indeed. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cool, cool, cool. So I think that's good to go. Now, why are we not getting combinators? There are combinators in here. Oh, we're trying to load vanilla train stops that we don't have. Probably because... what? Because there's no iron sticks. I must have accidentally gotten rid of... Oh, we probably have automation here to make iron sticks, but there's too much else that's trying to happen. Because it's implicitly lower priority. Actually... Bunch of prereqs here. But yeah, with the signal ordering, if I did have iron sticks here, uh, it wouldn't exactly make it a priority. For now, we'll just squeeze this in here. It works when we don't run out of any resources, I promise. I'd love to try and make a version of this that checks... Oh. Well, there we go. I'd love to make a version of this that checks for missing resources. Um, but that's difficult. I mean, it's definitely doable, but can we do it without 15,000 combinators? The eternal question of Factorio. Alright, so train should be loaded? No? We're missing signal transmitters. We don't have any signal transmitters. No, we have nine. Did I automate them here? Probably not. Not yet. All right. Signal. Signal. But now this is fine. Go build some combinators. It works 100% of the time, 70% of the time. It works 100% of the time if you don't run out of any resources. Otherwise you might get it trying to make something that it can't, and this takes up a slot. It's fine. Alright, so that is now working. Um, these are just example signals. So what was our planet orbit? 685 or something? Oh, I can check over here. Pla uh, moon orbit 685 is our signal. I wish you could copy paste from here, like just double click it or something. Moon orbit 685 is for outpost number 0. So if we're receiving signals and we detect moon orbit 685, we know that's referring to outpost zero. Um, I do have something here so that I could like offset the count of... Where's that memory cell? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. 
So this thing here keeps track, the green wire on the central dispatch channel keeps track of how many core fragments of storage worth of spaceship are uh, on their way to outpost zero, for example, as the signal zero. Um, it's going to be core fragment imasite cave. Um, if we have more, if we have more imasite cave core fragments than ships worth of storage on the way to that outpost, we're going to send another one, basically. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm pretty sure, like, I set this up with the with the prototype, with the example, so that we would we'd use like a whole second of timeshare to send signals for this outpost. But I'm pretty sure five is like more than enough. Five ticks. So let's do that. Um, and we only need one decider combinator here, to be totally honest. Just because this is going to be the first one. We don't... Whoa! We don't have to say if time is greater than x, and then if time is smaller than x. We can just say if time is smaller than x. Kind of looks sketchy. Kind of like that better. Sort of. Okay. Um, so if time is less than five. Make it ten. We can report six different outposts per second. I think that's probably enough. So... Yeah. For like nine or ten ticks, we're going to send the information from this place. And then it's someone else's turn. What set expands to the left for more items? Uh, so this thing here, um, we have signal zero means, on a memory cell, means that there's this many core fragments worth of spaceship storage on its way to outpost number zero, which is our first outpost. Um, and we can just expand it this way. Um, if for example, moon orbit equals 685. We know that we're getting a signal that refers to that outpost. Uh, therefore, we let everything through. And then if whatever type of core fragment is greater than the, the amount that's already on its way there, um, then we'll send another ship. I might offset that a little bit. That's why we've got the constant combinators. So that we need to have more than like... Oh, I was going to say so that we need to have more than like a core fragment. But I've already got this set to if anything is greater than 9,000. So there would have to be at least 9,000 core fragments um, here before we send a ship. It's the bottom three of those then? Um, I don't quite understand, but maybe... I didn't accidentally rename this. No, we're good. How many charged batteries do we have? A few now. We've got some in the requester chests here. Oops. Alright. So we'll just double check our train before we send it on its merry way. Seven and five. Seven and five. I didn't copy the schedules across. And 
Where are my batteries? Can I just control click this? I can. First train is away. Fantastic. Let me in. Up we go. Nice and fast. And I don't see... Oh, this is one... This is something I forgot. One more signal or symbol or setting that needs to be changed. There we go. Catch that first train, indeed. Alright, uh, we should probably wait a little... Oh, right. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe we should wait a little while before we send the other trains through so there's a bit more batteries. I think I'll just steal more from here. We don't need that much to get started. In fact, we really don't need that much because we've made them more efficient. Where are my charge packs? And go. And go. And put these back if I can find them. Where, where am I charged? There, there they are. That should keep the whole thing going. So first they're going to go to the nearest one until it doesn't have a train load. Can you use a combinator for that setting on the yellow boxes? Uh, no. Um, storage chests can only read contents. We can't set filters. Cool, cool, cool. It's all coming together. How much spaceship floor do we have? 545? I think we're ready to make our spaceship. This is getting exciting. Back to Hagen Orbit. Before you go... Uh-oh. Before I go, what? Use a combinator... Too late? <laughs> It's so beautiful. Love it when hours of planning come together perfectly. Exactly. Kyung, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. When you go back... Overloaded one of the trains with solar panels? Did I? True. There's really no harm in it, but you're right. I, I don't love that it's just sitting there not being useful. Wow, that is filling up fast. I mean, I knew it would, but still. It, it's filling up very quickly. The whole planet only gives us just under 30 per second, so we are loading up a backlog. But it is very cool to see. So if the trip takes uh, seven minutes at one fifty, let's say a 
about... Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, 10.5, let's call it 11 minutes. So about 22 minutes for a round trip, perhaps? Um, and our hauler has... I should have put this in the stats, it's on this combinator. 14 times 48, plus like 250-ish. Because we need a bit of slack. Oh, uh, that's not what I want. 922 times 20. 18,000. That sounds familiar. Let's call it about 18,000 core fragments. Divided by 22 minutes. Is 818 per minute is 13.64 per second. So I think we need two ships and maybe slightly more than two ships uh, to keep up with that particular outpost. A rocket crashed? That's. Yep. That's like saying it's raining. Happens all the time. Actually, it rains far less often. Uh, anywhere in the world than cargo rockets crash. F for the cargo rocket. That's why I don't like cargo rockets. Well, it's one reason. Now then... What else do we need to be doing on this end? I think it's... I think it's set up, honestly. I think, uh... I, I think the only th oh, This needs to be set to raw emisite to signal that the ship... That, not the ship, but a ship at the drop-off for emisite core fragments. Um... is ready to launch, because we needed an arbitrary signal that isn't the same as the core fragments. Um, that should be set to core fragment emisite. And we'll just put this somewhere back here. Just a little note to self. Alright, what are we missing here? Uranium fuel cells and space train power packs. Don't tell me. Space train power packs are in, probably only delivered by short trains. Yes. And uranium fuel cells... I don't see why they're not delivered, actually. We've got tons of them here. Let's see. Provide stack threshold is 5. Oh, I didn't actually ask for the uranium fuel cells. That might help. That might help. Okay, so... kind of want it over here. Let's just put it down here with the stuff that the ships definitely need to run. Even though it's normally fluids down here. Um, so let's say 10 stacks. Should be more than enough.
One more core fragment change there next to the RoboPort. Got it. Fantastic. Is there a reason you hop via Foenestra, or can it be any any asteroid field? The reason I hop via Foenestra is Foenestra is equal distances to everything. Um, so we're lucky enough in this instance to be extremely close. It's actually quicker to go straight there. Um, that's why on these combinators we're reporting zero for the anomaly signal. Um, the ship is not actually going to go via Foenestra this time. Uh, and I want to make sure that that's set up over here as well. Oh yeah, I don't have to change anything here. This is dispatch. It's the outpost that reports whether or not the ship should go via Foenestra. So, basically... Basically... Um, we set our destination to moon orbit 685. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is wrong. Uh, this is our address. No, 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 no. These two should be our home base. Uh, glad I checked. So what's home base on this save? It is moon orbit... 1180. Moon orbit 11... Yeah, where am I going? So when the ship gets here, we set destination to moon orbit 1180. Uh, without the anomaly. Uh, and this sets the memory cell, which we would need for... Uh, I'm just going to put this in here anyway. As far as the destination is concerned, we would only need the memory cell if we're going via Foenestra, because that's when it changes destination, when it gets there. Um, but we also need it to set the target left clamp so that it drops off uh, Imosite Cave core fragments at that particular drop-off. And then down here we sh should... Down here we should have Moon Orbit 685, which is where we are. So that's reporting which outpost. Uh, that's the, reporting the address of this outpost, uh, which will be used in a number of ways, including setting the destination uh, for the spaceship. What's Foenestra? Foenestra is an anomaly which is inexplicably equal distances to all locations. It's only 10,000 distance from the interstellar map. Like once you go, once you would be in this area, for lack of a better word. Uh, if you're going to Foenestra, you won't appear, your ship won't appear anywhere here. But um, it's 10,000 distance to get there and 10,000 distance to come back, no matter what, no matter where you're coming from or going to. So once we go uh, a little bit further than like this star or maybe these stars, it's much quicker and much less fuel to go to the anomaly and then go. I was going to say we could go here, but like it'd be exactly as quick to get over here, like to the most distant star. Old Dem Games, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. So I'm pretty sure we're finally at the stage where what we need to do is make a spaceship. Well, two actually. My calculations had a bit of slack in them, but if they are correct, um, we need slightly more than two ships to keep up with the outpost that we just made. What are the big red dots on the star map? Big red dots on the star map. Oh, these things? Uh, this is an asteroid field in interstellar space. I haven't actually scanned one yet. Let's have a look at the closest one. Um, 
Oh, look. Nequitite. Right. Right at the start. Even though it's only 123k, that's not bad. Um, but yeah, this these places have, like, basically zero solar. It'll give you 1%. If you build 100 times as many solar panels, you could use solar panels here. Um, uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of resources to mine. No biters, no... I'm pretty sure... Correct me if I'm wrong, but are there no meteor showers? In... Asteroid fields? Do you get meaty showers in, uh, asteroid belts, or no? Can't remember. I think I remember setting up defenses for them, but I, I just kind of probably assumed that there would be attacks, but maybe there weren't. You do. Okay. Trotsky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need to redo this, which I kind of expected. We've got a couple of builds here. This was the first iteration, and then before it even got going, I realized I would need to use chests. Um, just because of the way inserters take from belts. Um, they take instantly from containers. Uh, basically, I set all of this up so that we have to have... The maximum amount of astrometric data in all of these chests before we output, or before we input, rather. Why are we not making anything? Oh, right, I remember. Because our output here is full. And I added some circuitry to make sure that we'd stop if anything was detected down here. so that we wouldn't end up with any of these machines out of sync as they filled up the belt up this way. So those items there would have come from these machines. Cool, cool, cool. Let's stop chasing squirrels for a moment. We need to make a ship. Just had to set up a media defense in mine just now because it was getting pummeled. Fair enough. Good to know. I mean, it's good information to have, not... I'm glad your outpost was getting pummeled. Alright. Time for... our lower tier... spaceships? And I definitely didn't bring everything we need to build this right now. Uh, we need doors. We need console. I need a couple of vanilla tanks. I need a bunch of stuff that the construction train will have. And then some nuclear stuff that it probably doesn't. I should just catch that train back. Eighteen thousand five hundred and twenty is our storage capacity for core fragments in this thing. And this ship is completely generic, completely interchangeable, so I don't have to touch it. Alright, so what are we missing here? Uh ion ion door condenser turbine. Heat exchanger, nuclear... Oh, a big chest. Okay, so basically all nuclear reactor things, holmium accumulators, and a spaceship console. I can just make the buffer storehouse. Spaceship construction train time? I wasn't thinking of using a train to do it, but maybe... Well, no, once everything's moving, uh, I don't want to be taking up a space, a drop-off space, um, to get a spaceship ready. I definitely want a berth to create new spaceships. Okay. Um, 
turbines. Uh oh. Oh, that's a signal. There we go. We also need spaceship things. Maybe I should have a buffer chest for this stuff. No, it's. I don't think I have any requests for them, actually. I do have a bunch of that down here. Did I have the clamp? I think the... No, we didn't have the clamp. Let's grab it. You know what? Just give me all those. And the doors. And... All of this crap that I should find somewhere else to put. Um... And I need a couple of nuclear reactors, heat exchangers. And spaceship console. Ion things and I think I'm missing one more thing. Whole meme accumulators. Oh, and a whole uh, flat solar panel too. Why do I have rocket control units? Formium accumulator. Alright. You know what? I should at least be making like a requester chest. Or something for those things. So I can grab them all in one place. But I just want to get this working right now. Boggles, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And there it is. Wait, we need engines. We need engines. Also, uh, I should probably set it up so that... It's not sending the spaceship ready signal yet, is it? What conditions are not met? We don't have enough water. We don't have enough iron stream. Bots are moving. Yeah, it will send a spaceship ready signal. Um, that's probably fine. As soon as I come back and bring the ion engines, it should launch. I think. Is it considered a spaceship yet? Um, almost. Almost there. Ion engine. Spaceship console entity. Now we have an arrow pointing to it. It's going to be a real spaceship very soon. And I don't see anything on the memory cell. Is it busted or is it just not there yet? Considering that this is saturated, um, shouldn't we be sending... Sending signals? Uh, 
The only thing missing here is that constant that doesn't do anything. Is the ship ready? No. Well, there's your problem. Why is it not ready? We've got green, green. The bots are still moving, so not green. Why are the bots... Not... I don't see any bots moving here. Oh. Oh, they're hovering. Uh... What? Oh no, I see what happened. Because the bots report a negative number when they're moving this stuff around, the count that LTN thought we had of space elevator cable combined with the low request threshold had it send more cable, and I calculated the cable to fill, like, probably one container. Yeah. So because it's been oversent, there's nowhere for the bots to put this. That's a little bit annoying. Let me just drop the request threshold. Well, not the threshold, just drop the amount that we're requesting here. To like... 200? 300? Less than a third of a full chest. And... You know what, I think I'll just steal some cable and put it in here. Where's my cable? Oh, there's still quite a bit in there. Not that much. You know what? There's no harm in sending a bit more early. I have to consider the same problem with all of the other resources. I could just add more storage. What, stole it? Now it's ammo? God damn it. So same thing here. Um, 20,000 is exactly one train load of ice. I wish uh, for the millionth time that I could set it up without time sharing. Um, that we have different provide and request thresholds for different items on the same station. 360, that's like six stacks, that's gonna be fine. Um, so water ice. Let's just drop it to like 10k. That should be safe. Now what train is on its way here? This one's trying to pick up bots. This one is looking for what? Um, excuse me? I think because I didn't have... I think because I didn't filter out the negative signals and the bots reporting negative signals here, it thought of this as a request station? Yeah, it's got a request stack threshold. Why does it have a request stack threshold? What? That had to be temporary. That's bizarre. That is so strange. I don't have anything set up to take from this train, and it had a request threshold and a request for... Um... Tier 1 catalogs. 
That's a lot. Just do each grade than zero out of the robo port. Yeah, I know, I know how to do that. Um, oh, so there's some more bots. And now they can self-replenish in case they get kidnapped. Why is there still one logic? Oh, god damn it. Here, take some art ammo. Cool, cool, cool. No! Oh, I wanted to ride the ship, even though it's going to be slower than our, our construction ship. It's actually taken off before it's heated up. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We haven't seeded it. We haven't got the reactors going. Oh, no. It's going to take a little bit of time to come back, even though it's a very short trip. It's going to be 0.3 speed. Yeah, I really wish I'd made sure that I was standing on the ship when it launched. <sighs> and then that's going to throw off the... Hmm. I can just make it clamp, uh, make it anchor, like, over here. Otherwise it's going to throw off the dispatch system. But the dispatch system seems to be working. Alright, how long until Ricardo here comes back safely? Less than a minute. For some reason, it's still moving... Oh, it has a little bit of solar power. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, it's only going to be 30 seconds now. And it should have nowhere that it can clamp. Let me just get a drink real quick. We got the fuel cells. I thought I had a request for the fuel cells built into this. Yeah, there should be, like, a constant combinator here, I think. Wasting a lot of ion stream like this. Um, I wonder if this is not the definitive version of this. It should be. Spaceships. How was I doing the fuel cells? No, I thought... Because we're using set requests. Yeah, no, here it is. If water greater than zero... Did we not have fuel cells here? We did. If water is greater than zero, 
output. It's only when the ship gets here. We pulse this into the memory cell. So it's not there the first time. Okay, that's understandable. Have a nice day. Ouch. I don't mind slamming into the... I, I mean, I kind of do. I don't mind slamming into the wall that much, but, um... I wish I wouldn't get stuck to it like that. Okay. Or soul orbit. Here we come, finally. And how's our acceleration? Well, not that good, because we haven't heated up the... Uh, Nuclear reactor. No fuel on the left side? We don't need it. Um, I think even if I put fuel in both sides to start with, it would probably, depending on what we're doing, uh, it would overshoot and waste some nuclear fuel on heat. Beyond a thousand degrees, it just gets wasted. So once that hits uh, 415 degrees, the condensate turbines will kick in. Um, the reactor on the other side basically acts as another big heat battery. So we're just putting one uranium fuel cell in at a time, uh, and yet we're getting neighbor bonuses, I think? Huh. That's something I hadn't thought of. Look at that. We're getting 25% neighbor bonus with the reactor that doesn't have fuel in it. But we're not getting a neighbor bonus from the reactor that does have fuel in it. Something I hadn't anticipated. That's still a much smaller difference. Like, if we had the bonus on both, we'd lose a lot more fuel to... Overheating, basically. That makes sense. You have to output power to give a bonus. K2 is too smart. I mean, getting uh, getting a bonus from one reactor is still better than no bonus at all. So just by having a reactor that's... Uh, you know, theoretically, if you really wanted to, you could, uh, you'd have to support it manually, but... If you had one reactor surrounded by four, and you put the fuel in the middle... You don't get a neighbor bonus if they're connected like this, right? Surely not. Um, but if you had one reactor surrounded by four, you could get a 25% neighbor bonus from the four that are not actually fueled. Obviously, it wouldn't be anywhere near as efficient as, you know, just a square. Alright, what kind of ETA are we looking at? We should get up to just under 100 speed in this thing. I'm turning off my roboport because if we take damage, I want to know about it. Only works when a cell is burning, exactly. So now we've uh, swapped, because the accumulators were still charging. We took one out of this side and put one into this side. Uh, and as you can see, we're probably still quite likely to reach a thousand degrees and waste some of the nuclear fuel. Once the accumulator charge maxes out, I suspect that'll happen. But uh, yeah, ETA. This is going to accelerate slower as well, so I guess we have to take that into account. I think it's actually going to be more than 11 minutes total, even after everything's warmed up. Uh, 
Oh, it's actually a bit less than 90 speed. We're definitely going to need... I, I'm almost positive we're going to need three ships uh, to keep up with our current um, outpost. If you're only getting a bonus when a cell is burning, doesn't that mean your current setup doesn't make use of bonuses at all? Uh, that's not quite true, no. The, the one that doesn't have a cell in it weirdly enough, is getting a bonus. This one's outputting 313 megawatt. Um, although... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heat is only consumed when you actually turn it into steam. Um, so this side... This side is consuming less heat to make the same amount of steam, I guess, is one way you could put it. Still has rest heat. Yes, yes, yes. So these these two are conducting heat to each other. So this is like acting like a huge heat battery. It occurs to me that that might literally be the technical term, heat battery. We might not waste any heat. I think it's going to be close. No, I think we're going to make it. There is a battery type that turns heat into electricity, indeed. Uses some sort of molten salt. Yeah, I heard about molten salt when I was looking at the design for, like, this huge solar array that focuses light and heat uh, to a central point. Um, yeah, we didn't we didn't even come close to wasting fuel here. That's quite good. Well, I mean, ninety percent is kind of close, but you know. It wasn't, like, about to happen. Molten salt doesn't make electricity, but the heat from it is used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the molten salt is a store for heat energy, right? Not a battery then, it's a generator. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, that's kind of true. Most, well, not most. Correct me if I'm wrong, but literally every method of power generation we've got Except for maybe fusion? I don't know how fusion works. Uh, but I think literally everything else is get heat, turn turbine with steam or something. Alternatively, there's a thermoelectric cooler or radiothermal generator. Radio Those are like... Uh, Like a relatively compact, um, just turning the the energy from, uh, what do you call it, like radioactive decay into electricity, right? Wind isn't, that's a good point. I mean, everything turns a turbine though, right? As far as I know. You get a solenoid, you run magnet in a certain pattern turn motion into electricity. Six minutes 40 till we're at our destination. Uh, I could probably find something to do while we're waiting, but I really want to witness the landing and whether everything's working. Did we get this working? We did, right? Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Some solar does. Solar is magic, yes. Both TEC and RTGs use the differential potentials of metals at temperatures to generate a voltage potential. That's cool. So you need 
uh, basically you need some heat. You need heat relative to the ambient temperature, right? Cool one, heat the other, something like that. Oh, it looks like this ship's having no trouble whatsoever, even without current laser technology. I wonder what's gone wrong with research. What are we missing? Material science? There's no material science. Wait, yes there is. There's at least a little bit of material science. Um... I wish it would show which thing we're missing, because there's so many now. I don't see... that's matter. We don't have utility science? Really? There's no utility science. Um... Here it is. There are no machine learning datas. Because there's no thermofluid. Okay, that is not what I was expecting. What's the problem with thermofluid? Extremely cold, very cold, and cold are all saturated? Um... Or cool, cold, and super cold, if you like. Did I change the settings here or something? We're looking for 60k cold thermofluid. Request threshold 60k. Oh. Well, there's your problem. This is never truly empty. And this should say like 100k. That was easy. was pretty easy. Meow. And go. Beautiful. What's our rate here? Um, a thousand per minute? Eighteen per second. gonna be like two minutes or so before that has a train load oh no wait uh make it four or five can't find the video i thought i saw about science things or engineering things car comics welcome welcome hope you're doing well rtgs are very weak though yes 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 which is why they're used in satellites where temp difference is notable didn't Voyager use RTG? I suspect so. Um, but yeah, anyone who's played KSP knows. RTG is very light, very weak, very... I mean, as far as the game is concerned, it's just an infinite power source. Um, it just spits out power. It's definitely what you want on the smaller satellites. Well, depending on the tech level where you're up to and so on. They aren't that weak. Both Mars rovers recently used RTGs, really. So how how much are we talking here? KSP2 hype. I've been very carefully not getting hyped about KSP2 for a long time. A long time. Voyager 2 launched when I was 9. It's still out there running in, on its RTG. Yes. You'd be hard-pressed to make something that's gonna... Well, I, do, I don't know the exact time span that you could expect, but you'd be hard-pressed to make something where a different component isn't gonna break down before the RTG stops, right? Odd Resonance. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I hear KSP2? Ah. Hype is forbidden. 
Three years later, early access with such a big studio behind Scammy Screw em. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, when it comes to... When it comes to anything that they're gonna talk about before it's done, or before it's almost done, try and, try and drive hype and all that stuff, just remember that hope is the first step on the road to disappointment. Or, to put it another way, I remember Yahtzee, in one of his little videos, having a... It, it was like a 2x2 two two graph. Well, not, not a graph, it was a... I'm blanking on the word for it. But it's basically... A table? I don't know why I'm having trouble with the word. But... Have expectations, don't have expectations. It turns out to be good, it doesn't turn out to be good. If you, if you don't have expectations, you can only win, basically. Two axes, yes, yes, yes. Perseverance Rover has 110 watt RTG, weak compared to a kettle, but if you consider an embedded computer or laptop, indeed. Yeah. Uh, I try not to look forward to things like that. Not just out of cynicism, but kind of a pragmatic way of looking at it. Are we not going to get these space elevator cables out? I did put a lot of space elevator cables in here before. Yeah, 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 that's why. This is a bit unusual. But this is all normal. This is correct. This is good. So in our memory cell, we've got 1.1k moon orbit and 12, as in total 13, anchor to target left clamp. Um, Hagen orbit is 1.1k automation signal, moon orbit, and our target clamp, because we're dropping off Purple core fragments is anchor using spaceship left clamp 13. Looks like it's working. Uh, and I did leave a little bit of extra slack in here because there has to be room for the used up uranium fuel cells. Um, I did set it a bit higher before, but the bots, the bots can be a little bit aggressive. Why are there so many... How did we kidnap so many bots? No! I tested the hell out of this! Oh my goodness. I do have a system in place so that we automatically resupply the bots. But, good gravy. One thing I didn't think of though... Um, I think I should actually... We're going to end up with excess logistic bots in this system, right? I should probably take bots out. Um, if Y is greater than 50. Make this a 2x2 two two chest. Oh no. The first game gave me the space virus, made me into a bloody space systems engineer. They announced the game out of the blue, coming out in six months. Oh god. Three years later, all we have are videos of their shiny offices and a freaking early access. When they've got the third biggest editor in the world behind them pouring money into the franchise. Scratch that noise. Live it about the whole affair. Understandable, honestly. Put them in an active provider chest. Uh, the bots? Well, the bots are gonna... The bots are gonna join the network when they get back, right? So what about on the other end? 
I, I did consider resupply... Like, I, I what I did design into this is resupplying bots when they've been kidnapped. Um, how many bots do we have here? 50... 50. Wait, what? I thought we kidnapped some bots from here. Oh, we already had some to refresh it. That's fine. But yeah, the thing I didn't consider is if we're kidnapping bots from one side or the other, we could end up with excess bots. Which means that they could start crashing, and I don't want to deal with that. Um, so I might have to take bots out. It's pretty simple to do it, honestly. Especially because we've got, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always going to be bots in those two roboports there. Um, what about back here? Can we count on there being logistic robots in this chest, for example? I mean, roboport. I'm surprised there aren't any in this one. Oh, it's going to be different when they move the core fragments. Can I get it done before we get there? We've got 7 minutes 40, I would say so. I could always put a inserter next to each roboport, but then we're going to overshoot, right? Well, that's fine, because this one will just bring it back up. Um, but I'm hoping we only need the one. This one is already reporting X and Y on the red wire. So I'm thinking... Let's get our construction train. Park yourself down here. Wait a while. I'm thinking active provider because we've got our we've got a storage chest for Logibots here. That's fine. And we're just going to connect this wire and say if y is greater than 50. And we're going to set it to stack size 1. So this assumes that some of the bots are going to end up resting in here if we've got more than 50, which um, is probably... Considering that we're dropping off all these core fragments, these are the buffer chests, and... This is where the requester chests are. Um, I think that's a pretty safe bet. Hopefully none of them crash before we lower the number back down to 50. My clap? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Twax? What? That can't be a typo. Floating bots is just free storage of core fragments. <laughs> just a little bit, yeah. I suppose, technically, you could... maybe find a way to exploit the hell out of this. Most of them aren't carrying anything, though. Didn't I set things up so that... we also wait a few seconds? Yeah, I did. I did. 300 ticks. That's five seconds. Five seconds after the ship is fully loaded. Or very, very nearly fully loaded. Oh. 
500 less than fully loaded. That might be a little, a little bit much for the bots to load in five seconds and then get out of the way. Yeah. Because when we were testing this, we had much faster bots. But wasn't there a reason setting this to, like, only 100 was bad? I can't really imagine one. But yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure if I had either set this to more than 5 seconds, like 10 seconds or so, or if I'd set this closer to the mark, um, the reason I have to have this bit of slack is we're not perfectly loading the whole ship, um, Especially when we're carrying uranium fuel cells. So we're going to fully load it minus 100 core fragments and then we're going to wait 5 seconds and then assume that the bots have gotten out of the way. If I, if I made that wait longer or if I set the number more strictly then we probably wouldn't have kidnapped the bots. Cool, cool, cool. Two minutes thirty until we get back. I think I would... S well, it's going to fix the immediate problem, um, but maybe I would still like to have this take out excess bots just in case. Construction train can go home now. And go home it does quite rapidly. It's fine, nothing like a little bit of Grand Theft Crestorio. This is one of our slowest trains, by the way. Um, but yeah, I think it's time to make another spaceship. And we'll keep paying attention... Make sure we iron out any bugs, and then it's time to make another outpost. And I think we'll definitely be going straight for the Iridium, because that has been quite the bottleneck lately. Purple stuff was a big bottleneck as well, but we gave it a pretty big temporary boost. One more minute. Let me have a look at... The only problem... It's not actually a problem, it just doesn't look great. Uh, with this build is... Whenever... Whenever all of this is saturated, we're going to have one train here. And then one train... Sticking itself into the space elevator. And then another one, also full, waiting for its turn to come back. Uh, come back up. Which is fine. Is there a reason you decided to transport core frags as opposed to something more dense like ingots or something? Yes. Because this is what all of our outposts are going to look like. Extremely neat and tidy, very simple. We don't lose as much as you'd think in terms of transporting efficiency by transporting core fragments, especially because we get a bunch of fluids out of them. Uh, not to mention, like, 12 different things, depending on which type of core fragment we're breaking down. Let's 
simplicity itself. And we, and we can have a standardized outpost. Like, we might have more or less solar that we need. Um, I could use energy beaming later on, but basically every single outpost orbit is going to look like this. Uh, and every single outpost is going to look more or less like this. Totally standardized. All infinite sources. We don't have to make trips out here and make new mines over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. There go our bots. Fair enough. All them gains. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can't actually see if this has a uranium, a used up fuel cell in it by mousing over. It's fine. Alright, so we just sent the ready ship signal. We have our destination. Away it goes. And we'll double check the destination. Fossil orbit. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's not bringing any cables or ammo because we sent extra, basically. Um, and it should, the system should already have another request lined up, send another ship. Um, and again, that doesn't include any cables or ammo, just because we've already shoved in quite a lot manually. I like that because you don't have to manage the byproducts of your outposts. Yeah, exactly. Um, obviously, to get this far, we had to do some of that. Um, I was, with the lower tech level, I was keeping these outposts as simple as I could. And this is still, you know, we get a lot of fuel production. Um, mostly that, honestly. basically comes down to we need to produce fuel because we're sending the cargo rocket sections and iron and whatever else we need uh, in the other cargo rockets. But yeah, you can see how how much less work it's going to be to make each outpost now. Especially when we have uh, each type of core fragment set up here. We're not going to have to make... Like, every time I do a new type of core fragment, I'm going to have to do this all over again and go through and change all the signal types and change, like, 0 to 1 to 2. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. I made a mistake. This is this part right here assumes only one outpost that gives us Imosite Cave Core Fragments. Because... Yeah, I know. Because what we need here is to check, uh, check the destination signal, just like we do up here. Um, if it's this outpost, then check for fragment of this type against signal zero. Um, for each outpost that does emisite core fragments, I'm going to need to check if it's this outpost, send it as signal zero, if it's this outpost, send it as signal one, and so on. Run ruined, start again. Where am I going to squeeze that logic in? So, if spaceship launch is greater than zero, it means the ship is about to launch. Um, then we have a pulse generator. And then we send R for reset on the red signal. That doesn't need any help. S times one output as signal zero. What we need is a decider and an arithmetic, probably for each 
for each outpost that okay where is I need to check the destination. It'll be on this uh, combinator here, right? Dispatch. Central. When do we reset this one? When the ship leaves. Locally. Okay. So this will have our actual destination on it. I might have to borrow that red wire all the way down here somewhere which is a bit awkward I can't think of anywhere else I could check to say to check what our destination is going to be though circuits in factorio drive me insane indeed so we're going to have to have if Oops, that's not an elevator. Uh, what's our destination? If moon orbit equals 685. Then output. Uh, I need, like, a decider combinator combined with an arithmetic. I need to say, if moon orbit equals 685, then do this. Turn S into signal 0 and output it this way. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. The timing on this shouldn't matter. It's not like it has to be in sync with this or anything. Uh, and if moon orbit equals some other thing, output signal 1, if it's going to be outpost 1. Except that we need... This could extend down here indefinitely if we had lots, and I... If we had lots and lots of outposts with the same type of core fragment, but I don't want to do that anyway. And, yeah, I believe I would have to steal it from this memory cell. Uh, it is outputting down to here. On that green wire. I don't suppose I can reach that far. I actually can. It's going to look a bit sketchy, but... We don't need to add, like, any power poles or anything to make that work. But then this right here would need to be red wire. That's not going to be a problem. Oh, that might be a problem. Would it, though? No, we just need the output from this. And then, I think I should put the red one up here, just because that's going to be, like, standardized. Can this still reach? No! Alright, fine, the reset one goes down the bottom. Okay. The only trouble with this layout is it's not very clear that this is extensible this way. 
Alright, so from the memory cell, if we are receiving Moon Orbit 685... And just to be clear, the memory cell only gets reset a couple of ticks after the ship leaves, so that's not going to be a problem. Once we receive spaceship launch signal, pulse S through here. Um, if moon orbit equals 685, output S input count. And then turn S signal into signal zero. Um, that's going to work. So then, if we have multiple outposts with the same type of core fragment, we can put in a different address here, and the signal that corresponds to that outpost down here. Oh, not so hard. I don't love that we've got this green wire jumping over the uh, signal transmitter, but I don't really see a cleaner way to do it right now that doesn't involve adding an arbitrary combinator or power pole or something. If you close your eyes you won't see it, indeed. Problem solved. Don't worry about it until you have multiple outposts with the same material. Well, I'm going to be copying this everywhere, so I don't want... I don't want to have to, like, figure this out again when I have the same problem. The whole point of this is to be very generic and extensible and stuff. Our ship is almost there. Uh, I dub the... Ion... All, uh... Cool, cool, cool. So, time for a new ship. Let's grab the ingredients. Or at least the ingredients that the construction train doesn't carry. Aziz, light! As is light. Speaking of construction train. Um, alright, I need some spaceship wall. You know what? I think a buffer chest would be a good idea here. No, we don't have more spaceship wall. Uh We actually really need more barrel. But it's only the spaceship floors that I keep hurting for barrel. I think iridium's a higher priority. Warita, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, Alright, let's do this dance again. Once more with feeling. Wait till passenger not present. Why not both? I mean, I will, but I can only do one at a time. I could also upgrade our existing outposts in the solar system. That's a very short trip for the ships, actually. Although, I would need to redo the... Uh, the pickup stations. That's not that big of a deal, I guess. If floor is in need, why not make the Iridite outpost as second ship? Uh, it's actually beryllium that bottlenecks our floors. I'm going to go pick some up right now. 
barrel plate, to be precise. That's not barrel. That should be a couple of spaceships worth at least. I hesitate to just make this a higher priority so it gets done automatically because we need barrel for the um, for mining drills. Um, rather, we need barrel for the cargo rocket sections so that we can keep the core fragments coming until we upgrade everything to spaceships. Horizontal mode engage, indeed. Uh, so I've already got 127 spaceship floor. We should have some more upstairs, just not as much as we might imagine. That's only 39. That's 123. I don't know why we've got that there. I should go pick it up. It's not in the same robot network, though, is it? Um, I may as well just wait the aeroframe bulkheads. So we needed how much? Uh, 418 times 4. 1,672, except that I've already got 127 or more. So 1,164 airframe frame bulkhead will get us up to... I really don't need this yet, but I'm going to put in a big beacon. If I had one. Uh, beacon. It's over here. And over here. I mean. Um, and give me some modules. Just gonna steal them. Let me guess, you've already finished? Oh no, now we're out of scaffolding. Uh because we're out of aeroframe pole? Because beryllium plate is worse than I thought. Uh oh. Wait, no, there's yeah, no, there's not that much aeroframe pole here. Um, I think I'll just go steal that train load. Why don't I, in fact, have you just once drop off all of this over here? Mr. Vanilla Schedule. Nice and easy. Smooth. Fantastic. Alright, that'll keep things going for just a little while. Much faster than before. What's our rate? 26.4 per second. Uh, it's going to be less than a minute before we have what we need. Cool, cool, cool. Didn't I make a train to bring up aeroframe bulkheads? Or did I just set this up over here? I don't think I've made a train to bring them up yet. 
Let me just check. I'm pretty sure... There's not much that we need it for downstairs, right? If anything? I think there's pretty much literally nothing that we need downstairs. This doesn't e even need to be an LTN stop. Alright, let's make a train. It's going to bring that stuff up automatically. Uh, and I might, from time to time, just force it to go early. Pay a little space elevator cable for the convenience. Um, let's see. Vanilla scheduled train. And then we need engines. Which, uh, usually about here somewhere. There we go. Just need to give them some batteries. I always steal from here. And schedule. I should probably update this blueprint because I never want this to be on five seconds. Alright, so we're picking up Aeroframe Bulkhead. Wait until full. Go up the space elevator. Go to depot. Go to... Aeroframe bulkhead drop off for vanilla trains. Wait till empty. Go back downstairs, wait at depot. Fantastic. And let me just put these away. And these. And these. And these? Probably. It's actually quite a lot of stuff that I don't mean to be carrying right now. Actually, I need those. We're about to make a spaceship. I'm already carrying a bunch of stuff I need, except for, like, nuclear reactors, because I only picked up two, because they have a stack size of one now. Are we not moving? Destination full. Oh, because it has a train limit um, that I programmed into it. Okay. Um, what's then? If we're never having LTN pick up from here, then we can just make this unconditional. Set train limit. No train limit. Cool, cool, cool. Up we go. Actually, we arguably don't need a train limit there at all. As long as there's only one vanilla scheduled train. Bonk? Wait, trains with stop was two? Trains with stop was two. Uh oh. Uh. I guess I forgot that I made this train already. It's fine. We'll just give this one a different schedule. Um. Let me just put... I'm going to remove this piece of rail. It's going to be very obvious that this train's not supposed to be moving right now. Uh, F. R. Double E. Train. Train. 
three locomotive. There we go. Double the spaghetti? It's not spaghetti. How dare you? Uh, but yeah, more to the point, we've brought up a bunch of bulkheads. I guess I didn't expect to see exactly zero bulkheads um, if I had already set this up. Because normally you'd get a bit less than a train load sitting here. I'll leave a little bit this time. So it's obvious I already have a train doing this. Sorry for asking, I'm not familiar with K2. Why are there cannons next to the train loaders? Uh, is this equally distribution? Um, so the, the mod is bulk rail loader. Um, that has these big containers that have invisible inserters that put things into or take things out of the train. But they will also do the same with nearby chests. Um, it's a bit easy to see these corners right here, where there's this texture. Um, if we have a container that touches that tile inclusive, then the bulk rail unloader will put stuff into here. Or the bulk rail loader will put stuff into here. Um, it's not doing that. You know, the bulk rail loader will take from here, rather. So, if, for example, there's one that's not full. Most of these are saturated, because of course they are. Um, curiously, this one is not. So if I put something in this chest, it's going to get taken out of it. Um, so the, the delivery cannon chests I use just because they're three by three. So I can fit them right between these two. If I, I... I could put this like one tile closer. So that... It, it'll still load the cargo wagon beneath it. But... I, I prefer to line it up so that the cargo wagons are properly centered. Under the bulk rail loaders or over the unloaders. Um, so the 3x3 three three chest... Just happens to be a delivery cannon chest. Uh, and no, you can't absolutely count on even distribution. Um, I mean, depending on the throughput, you might be able to, but basically you should assume that the delivery cannon chests are not going to equally output um, or get taken from with the bulk rail loaders. I'm looking for an example. So what I usually do instead... Um, oh, I didn't do it here. What I usually do is limit each bulk rail loader to one cargo wagon. And then we set the provide stack, pri uh, provide stack threshold to 100, which is to say we have to get a full train load. Okay, but one bulk loader could fill up and the other could be empty. Yeah, that's why I limit this right here. So if it's a higher throughput uh, station, then I'll use a splitter or something. Okay, got it. Thank you. No worries. All right, where were we going? Make more, make more spaceship floor. So we can make more spaceship. I probably shouldn't even be focusing on this right now. Uh, actually, I was going to say we don't need... Um, we don't really need more spaceships. Like, we, we don't need the purple stuff that much right now. But these ships are generic and they're going to go to each outpost. So when I make a... Um, when I make a second outpost, I think I should make sure that I have enough spaceships to go to all of them. All right, let me just grab this over here. Oh, holy crap. Uh, 
I know that it's not something that happens, but I felt like I was about to get squished there. And I need a couple of nuclear reactors. Maybe grab four, so I could make a couple of ships. Alright. And I'll just start it at our dispatch system. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that the dulcet sound of spaceships landing in the background? Indeed it is. You should build a spaceship factory so you can just drop a blueprint and the ships get made. Yes, I will do that, but I'm just going to make the first few this way. Alright, where is our spaceship? If it's about to come back... It is just heading out. We're good. Alright. We got that I need to double tap. Oh yeah, I need all of the floor before I can really get started here. Whoopsie daisies. How much more do we need? One hundred and sixty-eight. It might be built by the time I get back. If not, this spaceship here probably has some. No, it doesn't. Wasn't I going to put a buffer chest for all the spaceship things? I don't think that's the worst idea. to 500. And we need some nuclear stuff. And steam condenser turbines. Uh, don't need any heat pipe. Only accumulators. Flat solars. And I can't think of... Oh, I can think of one more thing. Add on power poles. Uh, is there a reason you left more space around the spaceship dock? Yes, it's for a bigger ship. So we already designed it. Uh, this is... Once we've got antimatter and 2,000 hull stress on the spaceships and some more laser... I don't know how necessary it is, but some more laser research. Uh, this is the ship that we'll be using. And I built the docks to support both at the same time. Turns out you can run, uh, you can power the ship off of antimatter as well as run the engines off it. So that is a very neat, very succinct little build. Has first space research spaghetti been dismantled? Um, well, it's not currently pr producing, but no, no, it hasn't. Um, I already got enough of this. You know what? Let me just put all of this in here. And then I'll take some out. Oh, did I not request the heat exchangers? Okay. 
Okay. I think that's pretty much everything. And they need like six of these, right? Whatever. I think I said I needed a hundred and twenty something spaceship floor. Bonk. Life support would be nice to resupply. What? You're joking. No. I'm 17 short. No. On the to-do list? Yeah. It's on the someday list. Yeah, freaking 17. Spaceship floor, how dare you. Okay, down we go, once more. Sunday, that was yesterday. The mail. Alright. Um... Iron Hauler... Goes here. And where are my walls? Uh, I need some other stuff anyway. You know what? Let's just once put in some spaceship walls in here. That means I'll have to take them out of here as well later. What else am I missing? Nothing specifically spaceship. Oh, this is already in a buffer chest, though. Mm -hmm. Fine. Fine. We'll make another trip. As soon as I place these two. Apparently I didn't bring heat exchangers, either. I could make a couple of those. Spaceship assembly yard near the mall. Yes, I will be doing that. I just need a couple more ships first. We have other priorities. I need to get the second outpost going so we can stop bottlenecking on Iridium. Uh, what was I coming back for? Spaceship wall. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where are we? Let me in. And we need some height. I knew I'd need the construction uh, crane, but I didn't get around to sending it yet. Don't forget to fuel it this time. I can't forget to fuel it. It's built into the system. Oh, you mean the uranium fuel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do need to manually get that started. I 
think I'll need a specific uh, spaceship berth for these ships in particular because we need to initially get it to carry uranium fuel cells. And then we need to... Hmm... I guess we just... If I, if I really want to get it to launch automatically, so I just place the blueprint and then forget about it. It's going to launch to Hagen orbit and have an anchor to target left clamp in its memory cell. Prefer preferably for one of the uh, launches that doesn't have a ship in it. Um, it's kind of a waste of fuel, though. I think I'd rather just manually give it its first destination. That's fine. Alright, so how are we doing? Fueled up. Water is almost there, I think. 38,000 out of 40. The thing is, it's a little bit slow the first time, because... Nope, that was actually fairly quick. Because we're getting this water level up to 80% or whatever it is. Single spaceship wall missing bottom left? What? What? Huh? Why is that? That's very strange. My, my robots just didn't build it? Uh, and now I'm on the ship. I guess we're going... I guess we're going to Corsol. Uh, and once again, the reactors haven't heated up properly yet, so... I thought that was an asteroid. You're joking. Wait... Why was the construction bot out here? I'm guessing I had one construction bot that was slowly coming back to me, and that one construction bot had been tasked with building this wall. So it would have happened if I'd just waited. Did we leave some bots behind? Not that I can see. But, yeah. We're going on a trip. It's going to be about 11 minutes once we reach max speed. Or a little bit less by then. This is Ion Polar 2. I don't know why Enter doesn't work instead of this button. Um, and then we want to start working on... You know what? I could get the construction ship to follow me. It should have most everything we need. Oh, we're a bit short on plating. See for cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I am the sky, Veldak. Good to see you again. Also, we've come to scratch your furniture and sleep on your pillow. Fantastic. Um, let me guess. No, no heavy girders. Mm. Can I force a delivery remotely? Kind of. I mean, yes. This is already set to high priority, right? It's actually not. Alright, so I'm going to bump up the prior on the mall to ensure that this delivery goes here. Um, and I'm going to lower the provide threshold to get a short train to come and pick this up. 
Fantastic. Bump that back. Holy crap, that was fast. Bump that back up to 120. I was kind of expecting the train to not quite be full, but I guess we had 8, 16, 24. No, wait, if this was... Yeah, if this was already full, then there was no way one cargo wagon wasn't going to be full. That was fast. We've already dropped off our girders. So there's our plating, which, uh, let's see, 50 times 50, that's 2,500 plating. Um, hopefully that's enough to finish filling up our ship. And once it is full, I want to send it to meet us at uh, Corsol Orbit, and we'll take it to Stormhurst. Does the bulk loader mod help with UPS? I imagine so. My clat did have a bunch to say about big containers apparently affecting UPS, but... I mean... So far, so good. Even if it does, you have to compare that to having like 6 or 12 uh, stack filter inserters for each cargo wagon. But it gets especially bad last playthrough with when I want to do something like... Here's a good example. Four different um, physical uh, solid objects dropped off. And we want them on four separate half belts. Um, when we have to do something like this, or even like six different drop-offs... It takes a lot in terms of inserters and circuits and stuff, especially if you want to do a balanced unload. So not difficult to save UPS in that way. At the very least, we have an arithmetic combinator to do an average. Um, but like, we'd have... One by one chests times six next to each cargo wagon and uh, stack inserters, um, and they would compare what they've got to the average. It adds up, especially when you've got, you know, a space exploration base. So even if in and of themselves the bulk rail loaders may not be that good for UPS, uh, for my purposes, what I do with them, I'd be shocked if they weren't saving UPS. They also just make for much neater builds. We're up to max speed already. ETA 6 minutes 45. At this rate... 1500 on this side, or 1600. About the same on this side. So we need 3,000 more space platform plating. I could take it from here. We've got 800. I'd have to remove the requests for space platform plating over here. That's another 800. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, do that. It is static, so I'm going to have to go and manually change that later. But uh, let's give all of this plating to the spaceship for now. Actually, we really don't need to request that much in the buffer storehouse. Um... In, in these storehouses. It basically assumes that we can produce a lot of this stuff and we want to load the train quickly. But at the moment we're not doing new builds in here that often, especially with a bunch of space platform plating. I really just want it to go to the spaceship. Wait, what? Oh.
Whoops. Give me a stack filter. Yes, I could have done it that way as well. And I wouldn't have generated so much work for the bots. It's fine. Alright, how close are we? Uh, we need another 11... Oh, yeah, 1100 plus... 1100. About 2200. Our bottleneck is girders. I'm pretty sure we don't have... I think we had 2,000 when I last checked. So we're definitely going to come up a bit short. Uh, can I force some girder deliveries? Uh, yeah, actually. And I don't even have to send up a train with less than a full load of girders to do it. I'll just do it this way. Good evening, JP. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So this is an LTN train stop, and this is the uh, vanilla train stop for the girders. I've got a system here to prioritize supplying girders to the vanilla stations because I think yeah they go into space elevator cables that's very important speaking of which we don't have aeroframe poles uh we do still have a good many hours of space elevator cables but um we should probably get on that I really need to increase the throughput for barrel we do have a barrel planet literally right next door, but it's over 9,000 radius with 100% biters and no water to hide behind. So, uh, I don't think we'll be conquering that planet right now. I think the only other one in the solar system with barrel is this tiny place, Exorion. But if I go and set up an outpost there... Like an, a new outpost. We could massively increase our barrel. I could also use the dispatching system to send spaceships. Oh. I knew there was somewhere I forgot that I was scanning. Um, not the best mines here. Barrel. As entity. Let's see, where's the biggest one? 329 million. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. I can't remember if we need a fluid to mine barrel as well. I hope not. Where are we? One min. Oh. Uh, apparently our haulers take damage sometimes. Where's our other hauler? Hauler 1. Hasn't taken a scratch. Hmm. I hope it's rare enough that we don't have to worry about it. I could put an extra laser here. No, I couldn't. When do we get more laser research? When we get energy three. That is four space rail blocks, four builds away. Which isn't that much, actually. Maybe I should hurry up and do that. It's probably a fluke. We have tested this pretty extensively. Uh, 
Um, but maybe I should have some repair packs? At least on one end? In the unlikely event that we take scratches, but we don't lose any spaceship walls? I guess it's not that unlikely. Um, do we have repair packs automated in the wall up here? Probably. Yes. Uh, make some more. And we will... I'll have to add a storage chest for them. Because all of these storage chests need to be filtered. I use Spider Bros as repair bots for spaceships, indeed. Actually, we don't really need storage for repair packs if we're okay with them sitting in the purple chests. Five stacks, though? It's probably fine. Repair pack, exactly five stacks. And here they come. I use Spider Bros as repair bots for spaceships, saves space on the ship, and power requirements. Uh, it does cost a lot of hull stress to have a spider bot, to have a spider tron in the ship. Also, I don't have them yet. So there's that. Lol. Alright. So I'm pretty sure the repair packs will just sit in the purple chests until needed. You can store the packs in the robot ports anyway? Yeah, once they actually get used for something. Oh, I didn't whitelist them. <laughs> My bad. Well, we got some repair packs here anyway. Also, I don't actually have... I don't actually have a vanilla train to take this stuff away just yet. So I guess we'll get another delivery of repair packs here. Are we there yet? 11 minutes 25? Oh, we're already heading back. No, I missed it. Oh, no. Uh, you know what? If our construction ship is ready, we could have it meet us halfway. We're actually still... We're, we're probably still going to be making platform plating by the time I get back. Today is episode 9? That was yesterday. What? No? What? My Twitch is broken? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Veldek missed episode 9. Sad. That's looking pretty good. Did we kidnap any bots? We did not. Do we have... Um... Do we have the right number of bots here? Twitch updates titles strangely? Indeed. Veldak, were you lurking before the start of the stream? I don't think I saw your name on the little preview thing, actually. Alright, so we have the correct number of bots here, and... We probably have... I was going to say we probably have excess bots here, but I did put this thing here to fix it. It showed correct title when I hover on name in sidebar, but used cache title from yesterday. Hmm... easy. 
I don't close Twitch tab often. Yeah. Okay. So I guess the downside is I'm stuck on this ship for nine minutes. Um, but like I said, it's probably going to take that long to get our plating, assuming we have enough. Let's see, we need 600 plus 600-ish. We have 870 girders. If it's not going to anything else, we should easily get enough. Cool, 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 cool. Space platform plating really is slow to make. 30 seconds. I've seen this before. Refresh fixes it. Twitch is implemented as so single page application. I mean, it makes sense to economize on bandwidth, right? Although that does sound like penny pinching. Not updating the bandwidth equivalent of penny pinching. Not updating the uh, title often. I mean, you don't have to update it often, right? It can be, like, event-driven, if that's the right term. Okay. Oh, that's right. I did get an extra train load of girders sent up. That's why we didn't run out. I can almost fill a train with girders right now. I'm pretty sure we can get away with it. A penny times millions of page views is 100k. Fair enough. Actually, that reminds me of uh, an amusing little book called What Would Machiavelli Do? And it might not be what you think, based on the title. Sort of. We have zero. Oof. So I think we've solved purple stuff. Um, oh, you know what? You know what? I don't think I've even done... <laughs> Yeah, we don't have anything to take four fragments downstairs yet. That might help. Alright, so if the train picks it up from here, or here... I think I'll make another one of these. We could do four... we could do eight in each block. Yeah, I think I'll do another one here to take items. Well, no, 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 no. Do we even need a special... a special drop-off as a little extra stop for this? I don't think so. This doesn't need to be an LTN station. Um, we're just going to have vanilla schedules take them directly down the space elevator, right? There's not going to be any reason for LTN to pick up core fragments, is there? Delivery cannon capsule and the actual recipe. It's going to be the same for all of them. Oh, that's how we make it. Well, you know what? It wouldn't be hard to change it if there was an exception. Don't forget to get off the spaceship when it lands too. This time, it's not going to go anywhere because... Um, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we're not going to have room to empty the spaceship, because we've already got all these purple core fragments. 
And the ship isn't going to report that it's ready to launch until it's empty of core fragments. That's one of the conditions here. If core fragment in the robot network equals zero and requester chests don't count. And we've deliberately got only filtered uh, storage chests here. And buffer chests and stuff. Speaking of which, I was going to... What are you doing? Is our storage full? No? It must be the construction train. Yep. Um, so I want a chest with filter, repair pack. It's not strictly necessary, but I think I would prefer it. May as well put them down here somewhere. It doesn't go in the ship, but um, well, how about here? Got that a couple of times and locks up my factory. What's the reason that LTN tries to pull requests from a provider station? Uh, pull requests from... Oh, as in it's treating a provider station as a requester station? If you don't change LTN settings, the default provide and request threshold are 1000. Uh, if you somehow give it a signal of negative 1000 or more, well, or less, for something, um, it'll believe that you want that delivered there. That's probably it. Yeah, this is, these are my LTN settings right here. Um, th these are my default provide and request thresholds. They're set as high as I can so that they basically don't exist. Um, I have to deliberately put in a provide or request threshold to make sure that stuff actually gets delivered or counts as provided. That's my biggest tip for LTN, by the way. Um, but this, if I had five minutes to explain LTN, uh, this is it. When you have a provider station, that's pretty intuitive. You just report what you've got to LTN, right? So with Factorio circuit wire, um, this gives a positive signal for what's in the chest. Therefore, if it's providing, we're giving LTN a positive signal. Therefore, if it's a requester, we're giving LTN a negative signal. LTN will always try to push these numbers towards zero, whether it's a provider or a requester. After that, my one tip, if I have very limited time, is read and change the LTN mod settings. There are several traps for new users of LTN in the default settings. You will get trains delivered to places and you have no idea why. Uh, if you have traffic jams, you'll get like an unlimited number of trains trying to deliver something to a certain station uh, after like only 10 minutes per train. You'll get stuff over delivered by not a small margin. And the answers to why all of these things happen are basically in the default settings. I'll check that, thanks, no worries. There really should be a require manually set threshold. Well, the giant number for the default threshold does that job, I guess. 23 seconds and we're back. Settings are there for a reason, no matter what for, you should always check them, I suppose. I mean, I don't disagree with that, but for default settings, it should be set up to work as easily as possible without causing problems, right? Um... I don't think many people often want a train to carry only a thousand items. I could be wrong about that.
Like, I'd have to think long and hard about what I would set the default settings to, to try and be as easy as possible to use for someone who's completely new and overwhelmed by LTN. But I think you could do a lot better than the defaults as they are. I did put them on 16k, indeed. It should at least be set to, at minimum, two cargo wagon size, yeah. Well, how about one cargo wagon size? Instead of giving it a default number, give it a provide stack threshold of 40 and have the request threshold equal to, I think it's 25k, one vanilla fluid wagon. That, that'd work for a start, assuming people want to deliver full trains. But I think that makes a lot of sense for a default. I am suffocating. That's it, I'm making a mini trains mod where the car carriages hold 1k. <laughs> Indeed. Akira, Bidrath, Viking, if I didn't say so, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No life support. Indeed. Uh, I have been running around with only the default level of life support. So it doesn't last as long. I mean, it still lasts quite a long time. I could catch a train, but this is fine. We actually suffocate less slowly, um, or uh, less quickly, the opposite of what I said. We, we actually suffocate quite slowly if we're using the, um, thruster suit. I should have seen this coming. There's no life support here. It's downstairs. You know what? This time I will use a train for a taxi. Wait until I get out. You take F all damage anyway. You take a lot more if you're wearing power armor. That's what I was saying. Alright, did we fix this? Yeah, we did. It's quite slow, actually. I mean, it's 0.5 per second, which for research is not that bad, for starters. Is that the only thing we're missing here? It might be. Huh. Maybe I should actually speed these up. We do get 10k soon. Alright, out I get, down the elevator. You say that so casually, we suffocate much more slowly, indeed. Uh, life support is always here. And is there anything else I want to do on the surface right now? I don't know. I don't know. I think I need more than one stack of blue underground, or rather, what was I going to say? Blue loaders? Heh <laughs> Um, to make the next outpost. How's our ship loading? Very, very close to fully loaded. We actually need like 200. Somehow we ran out of girders, even though we weren't making anything else. We must have been making something else. Can I send up the girder train early? It's pretty full. That's not much of a waste of cables. Limit the girder settings? Uh, what do you mean? El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I really, really shouldn't land on the rail, even if I'm pretty sure there are no trains around. 
for vanilla. Oh, for the vanilla train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was temporary. I just wanted to fill up the train one or two more times. Until we get our uh, spaceship stuff. All right. Short train should be coming once we hit 120 stacks. We definitely don't need it as high as 120, but I haven't bothered to calculate the precise amount that can be pushed through here. Oh, where are we going? To the mall? <laughs> Holy crap, that was fast. Um, okay. That was, uh... That was instant death, even though the train wasn't really moving yet. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Let's go get our stuff. I just wanted to ride the train. Actually, uh, wait here for me. Why don't you? Give me, give me my corpse. I like how two seconds ago I was talking about um, not dying to trains or being careful about it in any case. Indeed, the train road to you. Okay. And that should get our plating filled out. What did we forget last time? Anything that I haven't added to the requests here? I don't think so. Spellevator cables. Oh no, we've got them here. Bots? Nope. Ammo? Nope. I think I did add requests for all the things that we didn't bring last time. Also, not that we're manufacturing it up here yet, but I probably should. Uh, let's go with... Two... sorry, two stacks. If we're doing 16 drills... Oops, that's not the calculator. Uh, 16 times 4. 64? Yeah, well, that should be more than enough. About three stacks of belt. Um, we need double the amount of underground belts as loaders. And we need a few splitters. At least a couple of stacks. And I should really probably set up belt production up here. It doesn't even benefit from prod modules or anything. I mean, we do have belt production up here. We've got space belt, but blue belt obviously needs sometimes. Didn't have enough accumulators? Uh, we changed that. Yeah, we're asking for 400. Where the blueprint asks for 396? Huh. 396 exactly. One less than low enough to set it so that the bots shouldn't accidentally give us an extra stack. Or the, the beginnings of an extra stack.
Do we have enough bulk rail looters for 16 drills? 64, we definitely do. Why do we have 101? All right. Let's -a go. We're heading to Stormhurst. That's a cool name. Stormhurst Orbit. And does it have biters? I don't think it does. 7%. It, it kind of doesn't. Kind of. Did we finish scanning this? Yes, we did. That's a lot of biters, but that's going to be where we get our uranium, at least for a while. I mean, we'll still get it from these outposts long term, just maybe not as much. Let's scan surface. We're not going to auto-clamp when we get there, so it should be safe to use the editor. And I just wanted to double check. Why did I make these so small? Oh, we've got them here actually. Iridite. I should just do it like this, so we can see which is which. Uh, yeah. We don't need, uh... We don't need a fluid to mine barrel. Which means I could use these standardized ships to get barrel from the asteroid field. Or belt, rather. Asteroid belt 1. We've got 329 million... Uh, the only trouble is I'd need a different drop-off for the barrel. I guess I could do that. Yeah, I guess that's doable. I'd have to... I think I should just do another block for that. As opposed to trying to figure out, like... Barrel core fragments here, barrel here, or something. Oh, I forgot to do trains to take purple stuff downstairs. Um, because I wanted to do another one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right here or right here. It's fine. Let's do that. LTN to vanilla. I think that's what this is. Yes. Wait, no, I already went over this. Uh, the core fragments aren't going anywhere else. We need this for scrap because scrap could... Well, we didn't really need this for scrap, actually. If scrap is only going downstairs, I could have made all the scrap pickups vanilla that could be kind of sketchy, actually. I mean... No, I don't want to need... If possible, or where possible, I don't want to need more than one train per resource with the vanilla schedules. Um, so having one place to pick up all the scrap for the vanilla train, that's good, actually. Weren't you going to skip the intermediate loader? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes indeed. Um, I was meaning to change this to a vanilla stop. In fact, I'll mark that for decon just to remind myself. Let's get the construction train down there. And wait indefinitely. How long till we reach our destination? Only 3 minutes 50? I forgot how fast this ship is. Or I forgot that I was riding in the faster ship. Definitely glad I made a faster construction ship than I was otherwise going to. Okay. 
So we want a regular train stop to show that this never goes into LTN. Um, we will be wanting some deciders to control train limits. Kilifi Runas Runason. Okay then. I think I will put in the station name an indicator that it is for vanilla stops. Or vanilla schedules. Or fragment provider with vanilla scheduling. And that's it. Oh, except for set train limit. Um, if this is greater than... 2,000? I could just use anything. So we could copy-paste that easier. No, this is fine. Uh, greater than or equal to 2,000. Well, I doubt we're going to stop on exactly 2,000, but, you know. Uh, output L. You know what? Instead, output this for train limit. I kind of like that better. Oh. And then... We actually do have... A spare vanilla schedule train. All set up with solar panels and everything. Um, and I do already have core fragment processing for the Immersium, Immersite Cave core fragments. Alright, I think we can do this right now. Um, these two. Now we need the requester. So it's going to be down to Hagen, go to depot, go to here. Once we stop using the, um, uh, the cargo rockets, there's never going to be another train other than maybe if there's another one for this same resource. I don't think we do need to stop at the depot. No, there was a reason. On second thought... We'll try it without the depot stop on the downside. So we just go straight through the elevator straight towards this stop. Except, ideally, that's eventually going to be saturated. So... I shouldn't have removed that, actually. Um... Here it is. Inactivity, one second... Alright, down the elevator. You know what? If it's primarily taking stuff down, I want the down elevator to be the first stop in the schedule. Wait till empty, go up elevator, go here. And go pick up Immersite core fragments until full. That should be it. I need some... Uh, some rail here. No, the autosave. Depot prevents stuttering if the train limit is at capacity. Yeah. I was thinking at first that the train... Uh, there'd be no train limit, but... Um, 
ideally, we eventually want everything saturated, right? So there would actually be trains queuing up around this thing, which would eventually potentially cause problems if we kept doing that with everything else. Oh, wow, that was fast. I was not prepared for how fast that was. Where's our train? It's already on its way to pick up core fragments. Nice. And down the elevator we go. And then off to core fragment processing. I'm going to be moving all core fragment processing uh, very close to the space elevator. I think. Actually, I don't know. I don't know how important that really is. Our overall rate of core fragments is like... A few stacks per second, right? I want the stuff with really small stack sizes close to the space elevator. 20 is kind of small, but um, the overall rate of it uh, isn't as severe as material testing packs. Alright. Well, that's our infinite imasite cave uh, core fragments. Supplied by a, spa a spaceship. Let's anchor to orbit. Actually, can I look at orbit and look at the planet? I thought I was scanning this. Oh, we are. For some reason, my view is way up here. Alright, so this is Stormhurst. This is uh, zero, 00 right here. And orbit? Um... is pretty close. Therefore, I want to anchor about here. Actually, I could just place the blueprint now, right? doop a doop Fantastic. What else should we research? Or should I just stop researching so that we're not consuming certain resources while we're trying to put it all into building more stuff to go more faster. I don't really have anything that I desperately want to research right now. I should have marked it. I should have marked it. Okay, so about here is... zero... And about here is zero. I'm think I think I'm forgetting a tip someone gave me yesterday for this. Can I add a tag? I can, but it's not like I can just plug in coordinates for it, right? Okay. That right there is zero. And I already can't see it. I already can't see it. No. No. Ah. GPS equals zero zero. GPS equals zero zero storm first orbit. Hopefully we're spelling that right. Yes. And then I can click on this whenever I want. That's much easier. Indeed. Um GPS tag specifies invalid surface. S oh, Stromhurst.
Invalid surface again. I didn't capitalize it. Did I? When I made it work for Corsal? I can try it. Oh, there's no space? No, 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 no. I'm not putting a space in Stromhurst. GPS equals zero zero comma strom first space or bit. I think it worked. The capitals actually mattered. Alright. And we're gonna put this here anyway. Fantastic. Okay. Still kind of hard to see. Cannot build on empty space. What? Oh, I need to shift click. Uh, that looks pretty good. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's right. Fantastic. And now we know where to anchor. About here, just to be safe. And the bots are gonna go crazy in just a second. I should have brought more construction bots to speed this up. Anytime you're ready. How's our scanning going? Quicker than we need it to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We've already got like half of the drills that we might want to put here. I mean, I could cover the entire planet, but diminishing returns, and also we don't want giant surfaces that we don't trim. Are the bots okay? We've got space platform scaffold. We've got construction bots. It's in normal mode. They're taking a very very long time to decide to place floors. I think I'd better just do it myself. This is the part where having a shorter range on the roboports would actually be more efficient. I could always uh, grab the bots when they try to recharge, that'll save a lot of time and energy. Oh, now the bots are kicking in. You know what? I should just place these myself. Turn off my robot bots. For all that time I was waiting for the bots to do things, um, I was acting as if I was doing this remotely, kind of. Let's just fly around and place most of this the easy way. Get some roboports to reach across here. How many extra tiles was that? I wasn't counting. Let's 
scaffolding literally go burr. Oh, and I should put some solar panels down so that we're not burning nuclear fuel, or at least consuming heat that we don't need to be. Uh, solar panels. are coming for scaffolding. God, in all directions go burr. I'll let the bots handle those little patches. That's exactly what they're better at. Each to each. Up we go. Perfect. Look, that was fast. I was kind of expecting to run out before I got there. Jackabaz, good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A little bit more scaffolding. Fantastic. Alright, um, and then give to me space platform plating. Place most of it, get the plots to fill out the rest. Can I reach it from here? I can. Let's have the bots do the rest. Uh, Robo ports, like this, and like this, I guess. And then down here. Does that cover it all? It does. Are these not all in construction mode?
Doing a bit of recharging. We're almost finished. Alright, let's see. Tile ghosts. Uh, 12 scaffolding. Where? Over here. Maybe I took all the scaffolding. Two scaffolding somewhere. Where is it? There it is. There's one. I should just turn on my Robopot. And this one's over here somewhere. There we go. Alright, that's all the flooring. Last. Why does that look different from this? I think it's right, though. Let's remove the extra stuff. And, you know what, I can just remove all of this. I don't have to think too hard about it. I'm out of fuel? Oh, no. Wait, no, I've got a bunch of rocket fuel here. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Can't fly inside. Not my dad. Okay. Now we place the blueprint properly. And pretty easy to see where it goes thanks to the rail. Oh no, you're joking. No, 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 no. Uh, there's... Where's the middle? There's a rock in the way. And I didn't bring a capsule to get down, I don't think. I remember leaving the capsule in the mall back at... Back at Hagen. Just because I couldn't get back up with it doesn't mean I didn't need it. Oh no. Bot's having a sulk? Yeah. All because of a rock? Yeah. At least it wasn't like a... I mean, it, I, I don't think at zero zero it would ever be a core seam. But for a moment there I thought it was a core seam that was in the way. Can't the spaceship land? No, it's only got ion engines. I don't think it'll even let me try to land. Um, I was going to say we'll need to... Wow, okay, cool. I was going to say we'll need to... Um, drag some roboports out this way, but this might actually be easier. Just walk down the middle. More solar. Even more solar. Even more solar. Hmm? 
Oh, my bots are already tired. I think we're good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I think I will actually... Well, I'll, I'll put some... I'll put a temp robo port in the most obvious place in the universe. And it looks like the bots can reach... Over here. That should get it all built. I don't believe we forgot to bring cannons. We didn't. The bots are just being weird. How many do we have? Only 10 construction bots somehow. That doesn't help. Okay. Uh, what are the odds I could handcraft a space capsule? I'd need regular solar panels, regular accumulators, a lot of LDS, a lot of, a lot of rocket control unit. Probably more solid rocket fuel than I'm carrying. We're just going to have to go back. Uh, what type of core fragments? Iridite... Or fragment iridite. Boovin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you iridium pile drive the rock? That's an interesting thought, but no, not with the stuff they have. Not without going back. It's in another solar system. Alright, so those should all be or fragment iridite. And I'm glad I left that part generic. And on my robot port, that might help. And then we need to set these to central clock. Uh, central dispatch. Which I did end up calling central dispatch. I do find it a bit more counter, uh, more intuitive. Um, and this is going to be, I think, greater than or equal to 10 and less than 20. You know what? No, I'm, I'm really quite sure that five ticks will be more than enough. I'll put my money where my mouth is and see if anything bad happens. Although, I don't imagine how it would, even if the signal timing didn't work out the way I imagined. So this way, we could do 12 outposts per second, reporting on the timeshared uh, channel. I'll just double check those signals. Cool. What's our location here? Uh, moon, no, planet orbit 683. Planet orbit 683, don't use the anomaly. And none of that changes. Core fragment type is iridite. Uh, this is going to be outpost one. And then we just go around changing these from granite to not barrel. Iridite. They look a little bit similar. I'm sure some partly colorblind people couldn't even tell the difference. 
the texture is a bit different, but not by much. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this one here has to have our destination. As in our home base, Moon Orbit 1180, if I recall correctly. Moon Orbit 1180. And what's going to be our clamp ID? Uh, it's going to be 16. Core Fragment Iridite 16. Which means plus 15 here. 15 plus 1. And this has to be equal to 16. We're setting the requests for Iridite or Fragment. Um, again, this should be Moon Orbit 1180. Although, if we're not using the Foenestra... No, it's this one that we wouldn't need if we're not using Foenestra. But I still prefer to put it there. Okay, is that everything? Did we do it? Nope, there's two more up here. Because we were using the erudite core fragment signal to check if there's a spaceship from the green wire without adding any other signals. But I think that is it. Cool, cool, cool. So we don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Don't need this, don't need this. Space ele elevator cable's already been delivered. Ammo has not. Robots have not. We shouldn't need any construction bots here, but it certainly doesn't hurt to leave one or two. Actually, let me just confirm that if we had just one Logibot in the system, it would get itself figured out. Did you just deliver 10 bots with one trip? What the? Am I... Am I seeing things? No? I'm pretty sure it's delivering... What? We started with one bot, right? Right? Give, give, give back. We have three construction bots. Oh, sorry. No, that is three construction bots. Where are the rest of them? Okay. Get in here. Oh my god. St Okay, pick, pick you up first. We have zero bots in this system. We're going to put in exactly one. And it's going to bring how many items? Ten. Nine or ten. 
Well, no wonder we were going over... Over our stack sizes. Um, I thought the bots could only bring three items. Are there exceptions, or is K2 different? Cargo capacity plus three means it can bring four items at once. Which means if we set our limit to 97... They should never go over 100, right? But they brought 10 Logibots. That's so weird. Also, we actually do need one Logibot on this side to get that started. It would probably help if I didn't run out of inserters. There's really no need for that to be a superior inserter. The only reason I made it a superior inserter was to standardize so that we wouldn't have to bring as many stacks of different things. Speaking of which... Why did I just hear two build noises? There we go. Alright, let's check for ghosts. And there's something strange... Nope, oh, we're good. We are good. This one's not bringing ten at a time. What the hell? What? I am so confused. So in this robot network, a single bot can pick up 10 Logibots at a time. Or is it 9? But in this robot network, they only bring one at a time. And both of these are set to request only one bot. Because there's only one in the chest? No, uh, both of them is, are the same. Look. Uh, stack size 1, Y is less than 50, Y is logistic bot. Static request, 1 logistic bot. Static request, 1 logistic bot. They're the same. The provider? Oh. Oh, that's what. Yeah, 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 no, you're absolutely right. Well, I'm glad that much makes sense, at least. So what's the deal? Do bots have a... Do bots have exceptions? To how much they can carry? For different items? I know what I didn't bring. It's okay, we have to make another trip anyway, but I don't think I added it to the requests here. Um, power pack. It'd probably be easier to start with charged power packs, to be honest. Oh, the stack size is worse. Alright, discharged, 360, that's what we're trying to go for anyway. And... I was gonna say... I was gonna say let's go back to Hagen Orbit, but first... While we're here... We'll fix that little thing that doesn't actually matter, but but it's sort of going to drive some of us a little bit crazy. Anchor. I saw some red. Oh, I see. Down we go. Or oh. no, I think it was this train. No, because we've moved some stuff since then. There it is. And 
Our third train is here. Cool, so now none of them have those excess uh, solar panels that aren't doing anything. Cool, let's continue. Where's our other spaceship? Oh, there it is. It's on its way back already. So we're already full after it did its thing. That's not that surprising, actually. Not in the slightest. Hagen orbit. Away we go. And I might do a little something in the editor. So I'll turn off the... Uh, uh, the anchor signal and save just to be safe uh, so that the ship doesn't auto land while we're in editor mode and uh, delete us from existence is the quick and dirty lies to children version to explain what that would do all right I'm gonna get started on energy three because why not while we're in transit. Hold on. Biocombustion? Did I save this? Um... I don't remember saving this uh, blueprint. No, I think we got started on it. And that was the end of one stream, and I forgot about it. That was close. Alright, let's make sure this build is finished, and... You know... Save it. So we can build it. Yeah, I thought it was weird that the uh, scaffolding was left over here, that we didn't clean it up first. Alright, station names. Uh, haven't been set. Biocombustion. Uh, where is it? Data. Provider. Provide stuck threshold 100. Uh, probably long trains only. Uh, we can always do either. In fact, I'll just set this here. And I think I had good reasons to decide not to try to do uh, bio cold. Oh, there is no bio cold. I was thinking of mechanical. Oh yeah, this is going to be different. Let's see. Biomechanical data, biochemical data. We need a mechanical facility. Inputs are biomass, blank, lubricant, and no... Oh yeah, no, that's... that's very similar to this. Bio, blank, lubricant, outcomes, data, and two types of waste fluid. It's gonna look very, very similar to this. 10 seconds, 20 seconds. 75%, 100%, we're not going to need as much. So this is twice as slow, and we lose 25% of it. Um, so, uh, uh, times 0.5 times 0.75. 
is a bit under 40%. One over point three eight. I think we need two point six three times this. What we need this. Does that ratio nicely? Twelve divided by six three. We need like five machines for this to be the same speed, but I don't know if the demand is going to be the same. This goes into catalog one. And this goes into biomechanical resistance data as well. So we should probably do it about the same size. Probably. Question is whether I want to try to fit these two together symmetrically. I'd need another output for junk data cards though. I could do the two fluid outputs here, that's no trouble. What about this one? Wait. Biochemical and genetic. Biochemical. Happens in a biochemical facility. That sounds about right. Stop showing me highlighted things. Biochemical. This is totally different. It's definitely going to happen somewhere else. And what was the last one? The tier one? Oh, genetic data. That's super different. Genetic data. Happens in a genetics facility. And if I recall, it's super fast compared to what we need. Like one or two machines will keep you going. Alright, let's put those away for the moment. Suppose we put this here, flip this around, and have a junk data card output over here. Oh, the output. The inputs and outputs are slightly different. Uh, but we only need... Oh. I'm pretty sure we could still pull this off. Pr probably. Actually, with the two fluid outputs... That could be a problem. We could do them both in the middle. If we make this a bit wider, it might work out. Of course, they don't face each other from here. So what's the minimum size we can do here? Obviously, one of them can just connect... What? Oh. Wait, what? Different fluids? What do you mean? D what? What? Don't lie to me. Also, we could, we could pull these up and down by one tile. 
so that the beacon can still be about there. Oh, that doesn't quite reach. Oh, no. Can we make it work? Maybe? I might just have to make this wider, which is quite likely anyway. I like the up, down, better shared outputs. Well, I still want to fit this many under a beacon is the thing. Oh, I think it's because these are touching, even though they don't actually go anywhere, that it thinks we're mixing outputs. That's fine. Um, and then this would obviously look like this. And on the other side, it needs to be a bit different. Like, well, like this, actually. No, no, that's completely wrong. That's the exact wrong thing to do there. Otherwise, it would be very easy. Where are we? Are we home? We are... Where? Let's anchor. We need to grab... Um, batteries are on their way. And I need to go get a space capsule, which is... There's probably one up here. Yep. Didn't have to go far for that. Some more solid rocket fuel might be nice. I should get some more fancy inserters as well. And I'm thinking like... A lot of solid rocket fuel, in case I want to use it to come back upstairs. But then I need to bring cargo rocket sections as well. I'm super confused, so I have eight of the same build, but on one of the builds my filter splitters are leaking. Cannot figure out why. Filter splitters? As in just splitters with a filter on them. Like no circuitry or anything too complicated. That's bizarre. And what do you mean by leaking? Does it just not filter, or...? What was I coming here for? What was I coming here for? Oh yeah, fancy inserters. Which we don't strictly need right now, but I don't want to have to run out of those again. Um, still got all the blue belt that we're ever going to need. Well, for one outpost anyway. Look for a belt outputting into an underground? It's missing some of the filtered items. Who knows? Let's get moving. Too slow. Just gonna blame it on it being C block. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're loading this thing as if we're starting over. That's gonna take a while. Let's not. What was the name of Stromhurst? Stromhurst Orbit. Off we go. Kidnap a few bots because we're not going to wait for them. Time to grab a drink and then I'll jump back into that editor. really nice try, uh, being able to work on designs while we fly around. I 
And the one breaks up the other process very nicely. So we don't fall into the same rut of doing the same thing over and over. Is there a video titled something like why do so many games have fishing minigames? Something to that effect, anyway. And the idea was basically to not burn you out on the same gameplay loop. Um, just continuously. Alright, let's switch this off. Not that we have a clamp to land on when we get there. And... We're definitely going to need some more space here horizontally, but obviously that is not actually a problem. I think we'll go about this far out. Just far enough that we can put these next to each other up here, and we could have an underground go through the beacon. And hopefully, if I didn't miscalculate, that'll work out to be maximally easy to deal with. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Factorio is a collection of minigames? Yeah, it kind of is. The biters kind of act in that way, although I, I don't think after one or two playthroughs the vanilla biters are more than an annoyance. But this bit doesn't matter yet. So this is going to get flipped around, I think. And no, that doesn't reach over there. So what's this going to look like, actually? We need this to zigzag. And meet over here. And we need this to zigzag and meet over here. Which is going to require a bit more space. Hmm. I think we're better off with some sort of zigzaggy pipe in the middle that they both meet. So maybe we will need to stretch it out vertically a bit more again. And we might not need this much width. Oh, it might be simpler than I realized. No, n no, it's, it's not. Um, like this? That's, that's a lot of tiles of width to make that happen. Maybe not that many, maybe this is okay. This is only one more than the width of the beacon. That is some good pipe spaghetti. Even if I say so. So if we were to do this all the way up... Um, I don't think we could. Just because of the limited distance of space underground belts, um, we might not be able to have it this close to the beacon. Like, unless we had underground belts go here. I don't think I'm a fan of that. Just make it wider. Might need the extra width of... Connect them vertically. Yeah. Or I could do the solid input and output on the outside. There's hardly any throughput for solids. It should be fine. I think I like where this is going. How do you extract the fluid out of this zigzag? Uh, it's simple. We kill the Batman... 
That actually might be a harder question than I thought. Not too surprisingly, but if we've got all of this space to work with, we should probably be able to find a way. In fact, we could maybe zigzag this over this way. We'll see. I hope we can get that working, because I kind of like the look of this. If we're going to have pipe spaghetti, can it look like this? It seems like a deliberate aesthetic, like artistic style, you know? How close are we to our destination? One minute and 20 seconds. I suspect that pause when we jump out of the editor has something to do with spaceships. Because it wasn't happening after a while yesterday. I used barrels for everything in my space base and honestly I'm never going back to space pipes again, really. Well, some of these are very slow with the fluids. Like, even with a beacon, this is less than 90 fluid per second. I have the pause without spaceships. Oh, okay. I see a solution. The only issue would be the beacon. It often is. Um, if I make it wider... Then we could do things a bit differently. Uh, like, like this. And then we could easily have pipe connecting these ones, pipe connecting these ones. We only actually have to do that on one side. So I could bring this in a tile for a total of six. That might not be so bad. Lube going through the middle, more complicated spaghetti on the outside. That might be a better idea as well, actually. That, that might be a much better idea. Although, depending on what I end up with, depending on how cool it looks, we'll stick with this, maybe. Um, alternatively, I was thinking... If this goes... like that... then these ones... Uh, that doesn't really work, does it? of this corner. You can do the oil output trick on the outside. The oil output trick. Plus this gloss. But yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I think we'll end up... I, I'd love to make something that looks really cool with this pipe spaghetti, but it's just barely not looking so good. I mean, I could do something like that. What if... Nope. Let me make something that's like mirrored. Oh yeah, we... No, that's... That's the problem we had to begin with. Um... Or is it? Yeah, because we can't... If we just bring this out a bit... That, that's wrong. What? I thought rotating it would solve all of our problems. 
forever. And that would go not there actually, it'd have to go here. That's functional, but I don't love the look of it. I think we'll go loop in the middle. So you have two lines on each machine. What he's saying is one fluid you underground right next to the machine, and the other you go one inwards and underground all the way down. It depends if I could fit that many. We, we can move this up by one, this down by one. Um, we'd actually have to move it more than that to separate these. I don't want to do it that way. So what if, as we discussed, we greatly simplify the middle? And we'll have two belts, one for input, one for output. On the outside, there's no junk here. And pipes are going to be a lot simpler with this much space to work with. We can pretty much do what we want. Oh, but we need one more belt, so that'd be further out. Or we'd have undergrounds here. Let's go back to our game. Like this, yeah, it's going to be a lot tidier. Let's anchor. Let's go high enough that we definitely don't run into the spell evader. Um, let's do whatever else it was I was going to do. I don't think there was anything else up here. Oh, well, except that a couple of construction bots not, might not be the worst idea. And make more room in my inventory. Um, how about the spare spaceship parts in here? Give me more solid rocket fuel. Oh, I know what it was. I forgot to bring uh, cargo rocket sections so that we could come back up without making the space elevator. But I think we'll just not worry about that. Alright. And at least one construction bot on each side here. And down we go. To Stormhurst, we need 52 rocket fuel. Good grief. Wait, now it says 44? That's weird. Is it because I'm carrying a lot of stuff? Even though it says inventory unlimited? I'm not going to be needing these until we've cleared the biters. Maybe the chests. And maybe anything else that goes into... Yeah, it does cost less fuel for less inventory. That makes sense. Uh, what do I need to make a fuel processor? A bunch of iron... And I do have a hundred stone bricks, so I could make ten of these without going to that trouble. Um, and guess what? I've got iron ingots. So why is it saying... No, it says I can make ten, it's just not directly. Okay, that's fine. Drop off most things, except... Not the iron ingots. Oh, I meant to put these in the, um, uh, in the number one crafter in the mall, in the space mall. Whoops. You know what? This is fine. 
It's not going to cost that much solid rocket fuel. Let's just make sure nothing I'm going to need downstairs. Oh, I know what I need downstairs. That's kind of imp that's kind of important, even if we are on a pretty sparse uh, planet. I'm not going to underestimate it. We got laser artillery. Cool, cool, cool. Bricks? Yeah, I've got the. Br oh, no, I don't have the bricks. Good call. Good catch. Gave up trying to figure out why it was broken, just made it loop. <laughs> nice solution. Strange random question, and my Google foo isn't working. Stuff gets destroyed, I'm used to see... Used to see a ghost that I can then just queue, pick up, and place. What seems to be gone, where is that toggled? I don't know if there is a setting for it, but... If something is destroyed and not replaced for long enough. It does take a long time, but eventually the ghost will disappear. You should see some, like, purple squares um, that show how long it's got left. Okay. Let's go. Would it be good to have assembly machine... Uh, no, we don't need the assembly machine. We're fine. Alright, there is, there's actually hardly any biters on this planet. Um, or at least as far as we've explored so far. Where's zero zero? GPS equals zero zero Stromhurst? Here it is. Oh yeah, it shows it on the... with an icon on the minima. Cool, cool, cool. So I just need to clear out some rocks down here. I wish I'd brought my construction bots. Whoops. That's a very aggressive sound. Uh, but I think we're, we might have already cleared enough. We just need to make room for the spell evader. Alright, we're not going to get killed by biters while I'm not looking. Once more with feeling. Whenever... Whenever you're ready. Uh-oh. I left no construction bots. I think I can solve it. I th think I can. I think I can. Okay, I can't move through there. Did I just transfer a construction bot from this one to this one? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Two different robot networks. I, I, I made this construction bot migrate to the right side. Okay. Um, if we pick up these two, uh, why is there a bit of missing scaffolding in there? Okay, no filter on this. Move RoboPort up here. Maybe set it to logistic mode. Maybe set this one to logistic mode. And we've united them. Which is still not getting the construction bots to do their thing. There we go, that should do it. Here it comes. Okay. Alright. Make sure we leave everything as it should be before I forget what we changed. 
Now then, we got a space elevator. It is receiving parts. It should have way more than enough energy once it does charge up. And once that does happen, I want defenses here. Just to be safe. That's not what I had in mind. No! Do you think that'll be enough against, well, you know, if a leviathan came over here? That's not that OP. Alright, we have a single personal laser, an exoskeleton, some jetpack. I could probably swap, I, I probably should have swapped out a couple more jetpack for one ex, one more exoskeleton, I think. A bunch of shield. It's going to be a lot faster to clear with uh, destroy capsules, which I forgot to bring 6 million of, but I think we can clear most of this with um, just our personal laser, to be honest. However, I do want to... Oh, I forgot to get railgun ammo. I do want to try out this uh, impulse rifle as well. It's like a little machine gun railgun almost. That's really good. I can see why someone was saying, uh, give the tank uh, impulse rifle ammo and it gets a lot better. Salford Sal, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome raiders. How's your stream today? Surviving the Abyss, that sounds cool. Mr. Thumperstump, welcome, welcome. Ikus, Eonek, Boggles. Hope you're all having a good time. We are just uh, conquering a new planet, actually. This is our second outpost with our new standardized uh, system, where we've actually got spaceships uh, dispatched to various outposts automatically. Um, kind of like logistic train network. We were the baddies? Uh-oh. Did... W were there skulls on the... on the helmets? Is that how it is? We have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of little tiny bases to clear out on this planet. I mean, it's not good... Oh, careful. It's not going to be that bad, but like... I still think it's going to be a lot easier to do this with uh, laser artillery creep. We had to flee from underwater monsters. Will we find a safe shelter here? Uh, well, I'm not playing Subnautica today, so probably. Oh yeah, I wanted to see how long... It looks like my calculations were about right for how long our power can support this laser. So maybe I, sh maybe I should have put two of them. No, wait, I think I calculated. Because this thing needs 10 megawatt. We can't actually support two of these firing at the same time, even with all the batteries. 
Okay. Do we have power back here yet? No. I can tell we... Oh. Yes, we do. Is that actually the range of the laser artillery? Huh. I thought it was longer. Oh, that's right. The last planet we cleared out this way was radius 927. This is 4063. Uh, and you know how it goes with exponential functions. We had to flee... Oh, yes, I read that. So what kind of under underwater monsters are in that game? Actually, what's it all about? What, what, what's the, the premise? I really should have brought more ammo. You know what? We're really not going to need that many um, destroyer capsules. Like, one of these gives us five bots, right? So I'm going to try and speed run. I'm going to try and get the most out of the lifespan of the destroyers by just going fast. Maybe I should even use the... Uh, I was going to say maybe I should use the um, thruster suit with no shield, but I think that's a little too reckless. I grew the biters and then the destroyers kill them all because the nests are so small. That definitely works. Let's see exactly how much damage I can take with this setup. Pretty much as much as I like. Spooky tentacle monster is not happy with us. We are trying to perfect cloning humans hidden in a base at the bottom of the ocean away from prying eyes. Oh. As in... This is our last chance? That sounds darkly cool. Where's the next one? Beautiful. Uh, I don't know where biters are in this direction because we haven't scanned that far yet. I really think I should go for more jetpack. Let's steal from... Oh! God, I didn't mean to steal that much from myself. Um, I don't think we need this much battery. Let's go a bit faster. Don't get caught in case I don't notice that our bots are gone. There we go. Holy crap! Rip 50 bots. Yeah, we've still got a decent amount of battery for the one laser. When I was putting lots of batteries in this, I was thinking about putting two lasers in, but we really can't support that. But with one, um, we can keep it going for quite a while. There was a public outcry about cloning, but the military wanted to continue the research, so it went where no, but no one would notice. Ah. What lives matter? They do. They're good boys. If it was anything but... Um, a leviathan. Most of them would have been fine. But literally 50 of them just got one shot. Right. I need some energy beaming. That's material and energy three, right? The thing is, I really, really need to get erudite flowing before we spend time on that sort of thing. 
I also need to get these bots in range. There we go. How's my battery charge? Why is it dropping right now? I guess it was still recharging the laser or something? Or shields, maybe? Probably shields. No, I'm pretty sure the uh, power sources can support the shields. Oh. Okay, the, the battery built into the personal SMG is bigger than I thought. Yeah, I should have made more ammo for it. I really do like the Immersite rifle. Look at that. Baby railgun much faster. Very, very usable. Is this DLC or modded? It is modded. I don't think there is any Factorio DLC, is there? Oh, that was close. For the bots. No DLC yet. They are working on one. Soon, TM. Fair enough. DLC is announced, but nothing concrete. Okie dokie. No, not the bot. Why'd you have to go and do that? Oh, I'm out of energy too. Okay, how many bots do I have left? 80 times 5. I wonder how far out this is. Uh, 2,713. A radius is like 4k, right? 4,063. Oh, I can do this. Uh, GPS equals... 4,063, 0, strong, first. Uh, this is the edge of the map. So there's not that much more than we can already see to clear out. It's a bit big for the turret creep, considering this is the range of laser artillery. I could set up a whole uh, logistic system to supply uh, iridium pile drivers, even in another solar system. But like the time I would spend setting that up, not to mention the insane resource cost, because it's like ten girders per target. Uh, we'd be better off just unlocking. Energy beaming. Why not design a battleship that you land with with artilleries? That's not the worst idea. Actually, how much range do my artilleries have? Let's have a look at Hagen. I think I not Hagen, Nalvis. I think I have some artillery there. Yeah, we do. So this posi position right here is 1604 negative 2208 we get our artillery targeting remote for manual aim and we can reach all the way up to 
It's about... It's a bit under 1,200. 1,200, you say? I can't backspace that? No! Alright, GPS equals... Zero... What? 1,200. Zero... Ron first. So, artillery in the very middle of the map would almost reach here. I'd have to take off and land a number of times. And that's with manual aiming. For the battleship to work out like that. I think I'll just use the battleship for, like, very comfortably establishing a beachhead and for the memes when I do build one. Never played with more than one planet, only ever played early vanilla versions. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot added by um, space exploration. It's very cool. Spaceships are a lot of fun. Because you're not just utilizing something that they put into the game, um, but you're designing your own stuff. Kind of like the rockets in Oxygen Not Included. might take a little break from Starship Troopers in a little while to do a bit more design. Even if it does slow us down a little bit. Um, one hour thirty left till coronal mass ejection. Even if we weren't prepared, it's on Nalvis, I don't really care. Oh, I am looking forward to energy beaming now, this very much. Design a battleship? I could do that. I'll have to jump into a separate save to do that, though. Um, the editor extensions mod that lets me have a surface that's, like, parallel to our main game but doesn't interact with it, where I have cheats. Um, it can't do anything with stuff that affects other surfaces. So, to thoroughly design and test a battleship, I would need to jump into another save. But we could do that. I have been looking forward to trying that out, actually. And I don't want to wait until it's obsolete, until we have higher tech to design it. Also, Imo and Observer, Kate Dara, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again, Imo. Um, did I miss anyone in chat? Do you have to scan the whole planet? I thought undiscovered chunks don't have aliens. Uh, if we clear all the aliens on the entire planet, and we do have to expose it all for that, we can mark it as confirm hostile extinction. Uh, it'll change the biters to 0%. Or if there's biter meteors, it'll say 1%. But the point is, if we then trim the surface... Um, it won't bring biters back, which otherwise it would, and I learned that the hard way. Mark it as liberated, indeed. It's actually a good excuse to use the gun. next. This is a bit closer to what I was expecting uh, when I dropped in on that planet next door with 900 radius. Even though it said Bida threat 100%, I thought by the time we got to the edge of the map we'd still be dealing with bases small enough that I could just deal with them personally.
was not the case. Those autosaves take more and more time? Yeah, the main thing that causes the saves to take longer uh, is the amount of area that we've got exposed. So as we keep scanning um, and we don't trim these surfaces yet, uh, the saves are going to take longer and longer. Which is why when I was doing my last um, space exploration playthrough, when they updated it so that you could do the biter extinction thing, uh, confirm hostile extinction, that was actually a godsend. It, it changed the autosave duration from like a minute at least. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, it changed it from taking at least a minute to, you know, a couple of seconds or so. Because we were able to trim all those surfaces. Because we couldn't... Previously we'd have to keep an entire planet um, scanned. The entire surface exposed. To prevent the biters from coming back. How much fuel do I have? Oh, a lot. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. And over here. I'm down to half of my destroyer capsules. I definitely want to save some for the pyramid because with a little patience I can clear out all of this stuff without any ammo or bots. Just the very, very slow consumption of uranium from my personal reactors. go back and check the pyramid right now. Suddenly I'm curious as to what type of module we're going to get. But it's a little bit far away and the bot's lives are ticking away. They last a few minutes. Um, this one? Oh god. Had to be a Leviathan. <laughs> Where did my bots go? Did they die? I didn't see them die. Uh, well, we're out of energy, so this is going to take a while. If I don't use the bots. I should probably use fewer at a time, because we really don't need that many to clear these out. We're risking fewer of them. Uh, let's hit these two, even though they're small. Minimize our travel time. What? It was all spitters. I thought the game was frozen for a second there. We'll just hit these little ones and then we'll do the pyramid once the bots die of old age. The ripe old age of two minutes or something.
this little thing here is probably going to be the last thing we hit. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, there's a big one. Right. Lucky. How long do these things last again? Where's the... Where does it say how long they last? 180 seconds, that is 3 minutes. Do they get a bonus? Follow a robot count... Whoops. Don't see any more nests. There's one. Uh, let's see. That no no. Follow a robot count. I don't think they get a duration bonus, do they? It doesn't feel like three minutes. Oops, all spitters. I think our bots are dead now. Alright, let's go do the pyramid, and then I think we'll take a little break from constant bug murder and design a battleship. Is the pyramid, it's quite close. Alright, we've cleared out a decent chunk. I'm gonna let my battery recharge before we run in here. To that end, I might check on some other stuff remotely. In fact, there's no need for me to be sitting down here. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. So how's our ships doing? Can I... S can I filter by whether it's a spaceship? I don't think so, but... Oh yeah, we can. Alright, Ion Hauler number one is hauling... Fantastic. It's on its way. Ion Hauler number two is headed back. Top left, you can select the type of object. Indeed. Ascend Anima. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's my personal ship. This is the Grand Theft spaceship that we threw together earlier on. Um, and construction ship is just vibing. I mean, we're sitting in the construction ship right now. How's our scan progress? Uh, it's getting there. We can see the corners. Cool, cool, cool. Are we... Is it, how's our battery? We're good to go now? This time without suffocating. Alright. I think... I think Tesla gun is still going to be the way to go. Against moving targets. Um... It's probably going to be overkill, but I'm going to go with the maximum destroyers. Yeah, I don't need even... I don't even need a gun with this. 
and another speed module. We haven't found a single prod module yet. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh wait, there's a still a nest over there. Right, should probably try to make the most of these 55 bots. So I lied slightly, we'll do the battleship after that. Down we go. I can't actually see... yeah, no. I can't actually see the bots on the map. Suffice to say they can't quite keep up if I fly in a straight line. Oh, that's effective. That's very effective. Just stand in front so that everything targets me and then fling the bots in. Yeah, that works. Theoretically, that Leviathan could have killed all my bots, but it was aiming at me instead. Oh, shields are actually going down rather fast there. Houston, Texas, I guess. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with my shielding there. And drop. Oh, that's a behemoth. I mean a leviathan. That's pretty much the only thing I have to worry about. stage. I do miss the rampant biters. Maybe maybe I should look for a for a tweak to that mod that doesn't do the aggressive AI thing just so it doesn't kill UPS. Give it a save there for now. And we'll go design a battleship. Familiar Prim Primum? Primum? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we'll use this save. It's going to be as easy as anything else. Sync mods. Oh, I remember. I changed one setting. And Ickus, thank you for the follow. Uh, the setting was to turn off the reload sound for the laser artillery because there's a bug that makes it just spam when it doesn't have enough energy. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, there's probably a setting that I did need to change. Or does it keep it with the save? Settings, mod settings, per player, testing lab. Oh, no, we're good. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, battleship. Where are we, by the way? Tintavis orbit. Let's go back to Nalvis orbit. And we'll... Build it here somewhere. Well, we can use editor mode for that. Uh, we'll start with a bunch of spaceship floor. More than we need. Uh, 
that's a lot more than we need. Uh, and then some walls. I want to try and fit it in hull stress 500, because that's our current tech level. Um, we'll probably use... We're going to need a lot of energy, aren't we? So probably a pretty big reactor. Maybe even... Surely not a quad reactor. That's 1500 megawatts with K2. Except we'd have to actually have enough turbines to support it. That's the real bottleneck. Um, I might borrow from myself here. Start with this. It's not about storage. Can you deploy a shield around the ship so the biters can't attack? Yes. Yes, I can. Um, however, we don't have that yet. What tech level should I build a battleship for, actually? How about we do one with antimatter first, and then see if we can build one that's, like, decent for what we already have. So, for antimatter stream, or antimatter engines. It doesn't have to be particularly fast. It does have to have a lot of weapons and stuff. So this is going to be the version that doesn't have to, like, put a bunch of walls around it, or at least that's the idea. The lower tech version will have to do that. Shields at the back. Let's get some cheat power. I wonder, I wonder how round we could make it. I don't know why pasting a Copy paste only lets us rotate it 45 degrees. Hmm, so far so good. It's going to be a bit square so far. And I want. If possible, I want a not insignificant amount of laser artillery, not just one or two. I want it to be able to soften up biters before they even get to us. Which, come to think of it, um, if we can support that at all, it's probably going to be possible to make it the only defenses on the ship. Well, apart from the energy shields. Squares are illegal. Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can make it perfectly round. That's going to be challenging. Uh, right now, I'm, what I really want to see is like how much how much energy it's going to cost, how much we can cram in, and stuff like that. Could we run it off of? Well, we could run it off of gas power stations that run off of antimatter, weirdly enough. Um, but I suspect that's not intended, and I'm not going to cheat that hard. But we can certainly... These are only 2 megawatt each, though. And we need 150 per laser artillery turret. That is not a small number. So we're going to need a high temp... The G-Man, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
there's two ways we can do a high temp turbine on a spaceship or anywhere for that matter if we're getting 5000 degree um, steam which is the most energy dense we can either get it with an antimatter reactor which last I checked consumes antimatter at an absolutely horrendous rate um it is it is not a very good way to spend your antimatter so each antimatter canister is i believe it's a thousand antimatter yeah 1000 antimatter Plus you need to run it through with supercooled. Um, you do get the canister back. Costs a lot of energy and some materials just to bottle it up. For starters. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it actually consumes that thousand antimatter pretty damn quickly. And it looks like we're only going to get like 2000 degrees Celsius out of it. We can't even, we can't even get it up to temperature with one or two, uh, with one or two antimatter canisters. So we're, we're looking at 2,500 antimatter just to get this thing up to 5,000 degree steam temperature. Um, we would also need Naquium to make this happen. So that drastically increases the tech requirements. Um, let's see. High temp... We actually only need... Well, only need Astro 4, Bio 4... Why do we need Bio? Uh, Energy 4, Material 4, and Matter Science Pack 1 to get this stuff working. No Naquium yet. So the other option is to use an energy beam receiver. I, I understand it was nerfed, but suffice to say it can still store an awful lot of heat. What is this? Energy beam targeter. Okay. Um, I guess I can't build that on spaceship floor. Are you making a battleship? That's the idea, yes. The shield is from Crestorio. Uh, I think the shield is included in space exploration, but the combat mechanics overhaul mod makes it actually block biters. Oh, not just block biters, but block their projectiles, actually. I think the base SE one does act as a wall. See, I can't actually run through it. And I can't fly, quote-unquote, inside. Um, I could just use a cheat heat pipe to heat this up, but just to demonstrate... Where's my energy beaming stuff? Did I lose some of it just now? Oh, it's in the other inventory. Okay. Where is it? Energy beam emitter. These put in one gigawatt worth of energy each. Um, and then we just power it. And set target to here. Oh, and it should be automatically set to... Well, not... It's automatically set to off. We're going to set it to energize, and it's going to transfer heat to this thing. So we can set it up so that the spaceship gets given heat whenever it lands. 
I would love to do something similar with, like, underground heat pipe, but alas. I remember halfway through my playthrough the way beam emitters worked ch uh, changed. You could never target spaceships directly. What? But using control plus one or some other shortcut allowed you to cheat your way into heating spaceships during flight? <laughs> no. I mean, that's what I actually had in mind that when I first started trying to make uh, energy beam receiver ships. But as it turns out, it's not really needed because this is a obscenely effective uh, heat battery. So it'll go up to 10,000 degrees. Its thermal mass is not insignificant. Uh, and until it gets down to 5,000 degrees, it will allow this thing to heat water to 5k steam. And I think it takes just one of these to run a high temp turbine generator. Um... Let's see. Max consumption 5... No, no, that's not right. One of these can give up to 1 gigawatt, not counting the outputs that it also get consumed by uh, condenser turbines, because it outputs 500 degree steam. Um, but by itself, uh, this can do 1 gigawatt. This can supply 560 megawatt worth. But we don't actually need one gigawatt for a spaceship, weirdly enough. This is 300, 600. This would be 1.2 gigawatt, actually, if I do have this many. But this is a very unusual <laughs> design, to say the least. Um, so I think maybe I will try to make it circular. As circular as I can the look of the thing. Um, yeah, we're going to go for a really, really different and weird spaceship design this time, I think. What if I had four of the... What if I could make the most of it symmetrical? This is probably going to be terrible in terms of the stats. But maybe... Just maybe... So we need, I believe it's three condenser turbines to keep up with this, if we want the maximum out of it. And for once we kind of do want the maximum out of it. Uh, let's see. Water. Void. You know what? Um, 500, 500 steam at the other end, water at the sides. Alright, so if we put this here, that'll actually line up very well. We could have water containers like this. I don't want to contain too much fluid. Actually, since this is a since this is a battleship, and since with Crastorio 2 the stack size for the artillery is actually very, very generous. It's already looking cool. They fixed that at some point, and so many of my ships were lost. Oh no. I mean, I could do, like, a lot, and I do mean a lot of water storage, but I think we'll probably go for something like this instead. Let's just fill that to, like, 90%. And we need to cheat some heat in here. Uh, 
So no updates of mod during playthrough? Yeah, that's what I tend to go for. Can we even do a ship as big as I'm planning? With 2,000, yeah, I'm sure we can. Um, maybe I should get that circle tool. What's our radius? Twenty-four. It would be really hard to like eyeball it and copy paste it in anyway. Let's just start with this. So this is seven tiles. What if we go six here? And then five. And then four. And then three. That's already looking better than expected, but we can do better. Wait, what? Uh, I can't flip if I have this thing. That's the only trouble. There we go. That's looking a bit squarish, so we'll bring it in a bit more here, I think. Now I don't even know where I did that. Good talk. That's decent. Yeah, I kind of like that. I wonder if we can put our antimatter engines maybe like this. We'll worry about that after I copy this around. Seven here, that would be a five. Um. make it bigger because I already forgot that I would want more than one of these for each high temp turbine generator also how much does this produce 415 degree steam is 375 per minute which would require Um, that's really confusing. I think if we just mouse over this, it tells us 66.66666 uh, is how much steam it consumes. And we lose 1 or 2% of it. So 66... Uh, 375 over that. Really? Oof, owie. I forgot. Where's my old power plant? I think they changed the ratio. I'm, I'm pretty sure I didn't calculate in the past that we needed six 
I mean, like, 5.6 condenser turbines to keep up with each high temp turbine generator. That is rough. What if we just consumed the steam instead of recycling it? That only gives us... Um, That actually consumes slower somehow. I mean, directly it consumes slower. It doesn't give back water. Does your thing retain heat when you move the spaceship? Yes, that's the whole point of it. Um... I mean, is it out of the question? I could either store heat here, cycle water around, or I could store steam, even though they nerfed it. Let's see, huge storage tank. That almost fits very nicely. What if we had four of them? Then there'd be no center. It's the amount, not the size, that counts as far as the spaceship calculation is concerned. To be are these 50k each? Don't actually have a way to do an input. Well, that's no good. That is not great. I could do them. Parallel. Not quite. Because I was... The, the reason I'm going in this direction is I was thinking about just not recycling the water. And if we do that, there's no reason to have this heat here. We just take off with a bunch of... 5,000 degree steam and avoid what comes out? How fast would I need to do that? 5,000 degree steam. One point one K water per second. <laughs> okay. That was more than I expected. Just uh just a little bit. Just a tad. Considering that a I can't put a flare stack on spaceship floor. Well there goes that plan in two different ways. I was going to do the equivalent of just venting it in space. So I, th I guess we need to use the condenser turbines. The fact that we need five or six of them, though. If we go five, it means we get a little bit less than the maximum. Um out of the high temp turbine generator, but we save a bit of space. Electric boiler can void water? Uh, true. Can we put that on a spaceship? We can. Yeah, we can. How fast is it though? 105 per second? I'd need like 10 or more of these per high temp turbine generator. 
Oh, and they're gonna cost 5.17 megawatt each while they do it. Probably better to go for this. Now, if I go for 5 instead of the f 6 so that we get the 5.63... Um... We'd get 94%. That's pretty good. Ninety-four percent of one gigawatt plus whatever the condenser turbines actually give us, which is ten megawatt each. So we get like ninety-nine percent of one gigawatt out of these. How about daisy chain tanks with pumps? Leave one tank at the end empty for water. And set the pumps to pump water into the next one. We don't actually need to daisy chain it, but yeah, we could store the uh, we could store the water as we go, but it does cost us more container stress. Okay, so if... If we're going to start with stored steam... Say that five times fast. Um, then we don't need a high temp heat exchanger. We don't need a energy beam receiver. The ship gets a bit smaller. But we do need quite a lot of room in order to deal with the output on this thing. And this would have to go up here. Do nine and three, I guess. We could probably make about the same ship, maybe a bit smaller. Uh, we need to store quite a lot of high temp steam. Oh. Is that a problem? Might not be. If we could... That works. That's actually extremely good. I kind of want this to connect over here if we can. How many tiles is that? Five, six. Let's do an underground. Oops, not like that. That's the one place we must not connect that. thing is, we'd have four times as much water storage as steam storage. And we are going to have to pay for the storage capacity, whether we use it or not. What if I put this, like, here? How many tiles is that? Ten. And we'll just have to connect these. That's not so bad. So... Like this. That way we have storage for 200k steam and 200k water. Assuming we can even get the steam in here. Obviously I could do it now with cheats, but like... This actually has nowhere to go. Uh, okay. 
Is it not mixing steam and water? Uh, no. So we have steam input, and then we have water output on the sides, and 500 degree, or rather, with K2, 415 degree steam comes out this end. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I think we're on the right track, though. Um, I'll keep this just in case we come back to it. And we'll try something like this, but with more space in the middle, perhaps. Let's go editor mode so we can just delete these things. And... How close together can we put this stuff? Is the question. Obviously not that close. One tile further out didn't work. I'm pretty sure just one more is all it takes. So the water can go this way and then God knows how it's going to get out if we do it like that. I could still put this in the middle. Um, that's obviously not quite right. Or perhaps we could fit... Hmm. If it goes out like this... Well, how about a seven? Surely we can put that in there. And then we just have to have a common water storage where... The water is all going to be connected, that's fine. In fact, we could put it like down here if we really wanted to. Or even here? Does that even... Well, these two wouldn't be connected to each other. I don't know if that would be a problem or not. I guess it could get imbalanced even if it shouldn't. But more to the point. It is not going to be possible to do a tidy path to get the steam in. But this is diagonal. What if I move this over a little bit? And then we can have... No, we can't. Why is it going to need so much power? Uh, so much... So many condenser turbines. Let's do the math first on... Maybe I'll move away from the circular idea. But let's try and figure out exactly how much we need. If we have one gigawatt, how many laser turrets can we support? Um, we can support six. That's not terrible. It's not great. I would rather have... I, I would rather double it. How far does an underground reach? Only five. It skips five tiles. If we had two of these facing each other, we could obviously store our steam like this and not have much trouble getting uh, getting steam in from the sides. We could have a pretty 
normal shaped spaceship for the most part. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is more than we need. Which means... We can actually bring these in a little bit. That's nice. That doesn't have to go anywhere. That doesn't go there. This needs to skip over this one. Or rather, just don't touch it. Alright, since we have a large storage, let's maybe go for... These are 50k, right? And this is 200. We don't actually want it to be completely full. That's actually pretty neat. I think I'll use that design in more than a few places. Uh, and probably these two will be connected to each other. The pipes below the four turbines are slightly off? How so? Pipes below the four... Oh, these ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Good catch. Jay, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then... Let's say the ship was relatively small. We'll probably make it bigger than this. Um, we could even fit laser turrets here. If we really want to. That can even resupply like that when the ship lands. Very cool. So if we have 2,000... Uh, two gigawatts. Uh, we can actually support 13 laser artillery turrets. Put them back as far as I can. We'll have water resupply. Well. No, we don't resupply water. When we are docked, we want to just remove water. Period. We probably want to do that as fast as we can. Uh, where's my pump? So we just take a void pipe. Incidentally, the default setting for cheap pipe. That drains fairly quickly. Um, and we'll be putting in 5k steam. be very curious to see if a ship can defend itself with just laser artillery. I think it probably can as long as the as long as we have some far enough back so that the front of the ship is covered properly. Or even maybe even without that. 
Uh, where are we going to put our engines? Engine. We can't really fit four. I don't think we need or want to. With this design. Uh, I need some antimatter booster tanks. How about here so that it just happens to not line up with those pipes and then we can keep it close. Uh, and this is the part where we realize we didn't we didn't carefully decide where to put things because of the clamp snap to. Um, but that's fine. I'm gonna I'm going to I'm looking for something I can use to measure. I want to move everything down one tile. Here we go. And then spaceship clamp. Where did it go? Here it is. Spaceship clamp would go here. Seems good. Or maybe like this. We could maybe make some more room back here. We'll see. Actually, if that goes there, we could have another anti-matter booster tank. Uh, I didn't leave room for any more laser turrets back here. It's probably okay, actually. Probably. I built this whole thing so we could support lots of turrets, and then I'm, like, squeezing in just a couple of turrets. Let's fix that. Should I make the ship wider? Room for pylon? I'm sure we can manage that somehow. Yeah, we're probably good. Oh, like this spot? I don't know, there isn't there isn't a actual middle tile. I don't suppose this would reach... Oh, we're slightly off. Slightly off that connecting to the clamp. I could just pull this back a bit. So that we can put the lasers there. Or I could make this wider here. There's no rule that says... Um, we can't go wider at the back. And then go narrow, like, have, like, an hourglass figure. I don't think I will do that, but... How about... How about something like this? Oops. What if you had a Star Trek bridge room type ship? Um, it's not really much of an option with this one. Good, good luck trying to make things look like things. Oh, well, we could still have the clamp there. That that'd work. We'd obviously need a very custom dock for this uh, for this ship. Now, I don't think. That reaches as far as it, I would like it to. But we could always just do this. And this would have to... I mean, we could narrow... We could start narrowing this thing a bit more here. How many ships... Uh, sorry, how many... Of these did we say that we could support? Support. 
maybe 13. Um, how much does this cost? Only one megawatt. It's not, the cost of engines is like nothing. I mean, antimatter are ten times more energy cheap, um, electricity-wise, than uh, ion, but it's still kind of shocking. I would have a row of six on each side, indeed. Well, I was thinking of having more at the front, is the thing. And maybe even no shields. How far back could this... I would need some extra underground pipes, which I think is probably okay. Put that wherever we want. So it's 13. We've got... 12 already, actually. And oh, that's kind of perfect. Um, I actually like that quite a lot. Except for where this is going to have to... Maybe like that, almost? We need a bridge. That wasn't much of a problem. I'm liking the way this looks. Question is how far we get on the steam power, especially considering that uh, we need the steam to run the laser turrets as well, the laser artillery. Two hundred k, um, five thousand degree steam is not trivial though. Not a trivial amount of energy. Okay, we can make it a little bit more pretty late. Whoops. What the... what? What have I done? Oh, that's... yeah, there's a middle tile. It's not actually the middle. So, more like that. Which means I could do the water output, um, like over here. Should probably do it close to the storage anyway. Building the... oh... No. Going to space with artillery? Yes. This is... this is very much a meme build. Very much a meme build. What's the minimum consumption of these? 50 megawatt each. We're not realistically putting enough solar on this to not consume power while it's idle. Uh, unless maybe I make the bill, uh, the ship significantly larger. Don't integrity check all of that. Oh, it actually let me remove those. Gotta be careful. All right, integrity check. No tiles found connected to a properly enclosed console. That is not the error I was expecting. 
It's not still checking all of this, is it? No? How is it not properly enclosed? That's not very helpful. Um, I could have sworn this was a properly enclosed console. What happens if I... Is it because of this? Integrity valid. Okay, so we've put the clamp back there, but we don't remove those bits of floor. Fast. Uh, and we're actually less than halfway through our whole stress here, so we could we could really go big. Container stress we could almost triple as well. We could more than triple it. Um, Steam counts twice when it comes to container stress. But... I'm pretty sure if we got 600,000 steam and 600,000 space for water, um, we should still be under 2,000 stress. So we'll maybe iterate in that direction, um, if this works at all. Let's try it. We're not even going to add shields or anything. Nothing but us and our steam. Let's put in some anti map to stream. It's going to fill up a bit quicker. I do want to test how far it'll go. Um... On the antimatter stream that we give it, actually. So once that's full, I'll change that back to regular pipe. And I could put a couple of laser turrets in here, but what's the point? Actually, the point would be coverage. Well, we should have full coverage anyway. This reminds me of that frustratingly almost good Forex game. What was it called? Star something? It had very, very involved shipbuilding. Okay, we got 200k steam, we got lots of antimatter stream, we got a save. Space engineers? No, it was a it was a forex game like expand, exterminate, ex extract, or exploit. You know, um, big giant political. I wouldn't. I, I don't. I guess political is not the right word, but uh, like Civ or something. X series, yeah. Can't wait to see how the lasers will perform. We're about to find out. Um, where do we want to go? Let's see. Sort by... Bite a threat? Maximum? Delta V... How do we not know the Delta V for all these things? Do I have to change the reference zone? Shift left click a zone to set it as a reference. Okay, where are we? Now this orbit? Elvis Orbit. Let's go. Uh, this orb. Uh, what was it? Shift, left click. Okay. So then we're going to sort by Biter Threat. 
and look for something that's close. Uh, Etanor is extremely close. Etanor. Etanor orbit. Integrity check. We're good to go. Streamline is 97%. I can probably live with that. And engage. They're just going to instantly destroy any asteroid that would have hit us, right? I think so, more or less. Oh, maybe not. It's looking surprisingly close. That is too cool. <laughs> the ones at the front can hit stuff here, so that's not a problem. It's a little bit loud. Hence the zooming out. How far are we to our destination? 1 minute 14. Where are we going? I thought it would be in the same solar system based on the distance. Delta V is only 3,552. So where are we going? Oh, here it is, Etanor. Yeah, we're almost there. Or are we that slow? Oh my god. Okay, we could maybe use some accumulators. Um, do I have any on me? Nope. Yes. Did we stop? Where do we stop? Uh, what? Power seems fine. Fuel is fine. Did I tell it to stop? By accident, somehow? Output full. Why did it say that? Uh, for recycled 5k steam. What? Huh? Water is fine. Low temp steam is fine. Internal steam. This is the only thing, this is the only output that's full. What is it doing? But power is fine. Like, even if the output is full, I don't think that's why we're stopped. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, is it because a wall got broken? I see it rechecking integrity for some reason. Could it be the speed? We're getting up to a hundred. We've been up to a hundred. I really don't know why it stopped. Very peculiar. I was gonna put Holmium Accumulators in, but uh, actually... Holy crap! <laughs> We've already gone... <laughs> We've already gone through more than half of our steam. <laughs> I know we lost some because we stopped as well, but... Um, yeah, shockingly, steam-only powered spaceship with, uh, what is it, 50 times 12 megawatt passive power draw, and 150 megawatt per 12. Why did we stop again? What, what is this doing? I'm 
okay. Anchor. No, not to orbit. Oh, we're not anchoring in orbit. Uh, yes, we are. I don't go to orbit. We need to go here. Are we recreating a Star Destroyer? <laughs> kind of. That was the idea, yeah. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, where can we anchor? There's a lot of trees here. That's a lot of biters. How about... Right about here. What's the worst that could happen? Oh yeah, I grew all the biters at the same time. Good choice. There's still a lot of blue ones in this save. So it's not going to be that bad. Uh-oh. Oh, my cheat lasers killed them. Whoops. Okay, so I think to realistically make a ship like this, we have to have a power switch um, to cut off power to the artillery. While the ship is actually in motion, we should have different defenses that are much more energy efficient to defend it. Um, probably a much better idea is actually just to have regular artillery. Uh, the old non-energy style might be better. It's a fun novelty though. So let's say we were going with laser artillery. Um, we need power switches so that we're not draining 50 megawatt per laser turret. Um, just sitting idle. Because otherwise we're getting nowhere. Um, I think we need a nuclear reactor at the very least. We need something with massive uh, energy fuel density. High temp steam? is that, but it's not enough. Uh, I think realistically we actually do need like an antimatter reactor. Lasers to aggro and shields to kill. Yeah, and we can make it bigger as well, by the way. For the technology level where we've got antimatter, we can actually go up to 2000 full and container stress. Um, I don't really have time today to go into the lower tech version. I think we'll definitely skip the laser artillery turrets for the lower tech version. Um, we'll use regular non-electricity consuming uh, artillery turrets, just like we've done before. But it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. Very, very impractical. Oh, look, we're out of electricity. Or we're about to be out of electricity. This is how it ends. Alright, let's see who's streaming Factorio. It's about time. If I have time, I might continue my save a little bit off stream just to do the stuff that we've seen before already, setting up the new outpost. It was fun, now it's time to die, indeed. Uh, who's playing? Who is playing? Mucky? Um, Trapped on Nalvis. That means space exploration. SE mod part 4001. Sounds about right. SE K2 burner phase. There's actually a few choices for space exploration. I think we'll probably go for the one that's deeper into the game. Uh, the Nalvis one is probably still relatively low-tech, right? 
And I think this one is probably further in. More than likely. Oh, I see... Yeah. <laughs> I see furnaces used as walls. That's very early. A good strategy, though. And this one's in space. Let's go for that. Thanks, t -Hex. Thank you for hanging out, Caldeck. And everyone else. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday. I guess we're continuing with... Uh, I was going to say don't dig up. That's not right. For the worthy uh, Terraria, we're trying to kill Duke Fishron, who doesn't play by the same rules. Um, it turns out he can kill you when you parry him. Um, compared to the regular game. So, I've got a new strategy to try. Take care, fat boy, elite noob. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with For the Worthy, Terraria, no boss fight arenas. Then in a couple of days, uh, we'll probably be getting a bit closer to finishing Atrio, the Dark Wild. Then it's a bit of oxygen not included, and back to three days straight of space exploration. Um, but for now, let's drop in on Fury Red, I guess. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, take care, not steal mage. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe.